Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Air Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined here with uh, a bunch of lovely ladies. And, and David, David Bummy in the building. <laughs> Welcome, David, brother. David, hey. I appreciate you having me on here. Let's get into it, guys. Let's go. All the night is my world. City light. Ain't it good? I mean, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. Leave. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get the out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not what I've seen. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. This time I'm going to tell you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Quick announcement before we get into the show. Uh, Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, guys. We can get all the behind-the-scenes content to include crazy girls pulling guns, us kicking out annoying-ass girls, you know, uh, what else? Um, coaching calls, Zoom calls, uh, videos on how to get girls, videos on how to get in shape, videos on how to self-improve in general, real estate investing, everything, man. So check us out over there on <laughs> Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. Also, guys, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts, or on every single platform you listen to podcasts, check us out over there. And uh, yeah, man, other than that, man, check us out over there. Just make sure you wear headphones because you could get, get in trouble or get fucked up. Also, guys, merch, FresherPodcastStore.com. Get all the gear over there. Hoodies, t-shirts, all the merch is there, FresherPodcastStore.com. I feel like shirts, Ninja Watchers, etc. They're all there. And then also, guys, uh, check out our other YouTube channel, Fresh and Fit Clips, man. That is where we have a bunch of... Um, <laughs> All the best parts of the show. If you don't got two to three hours to watch the full podcast, go ahead and check us out on uh, Fresh Fit Clips. Got a Liddy, a bunch of Liddy content over there, so check us out over there. I and then also, guys, um, uh, check us out on uh, YouTube.com for fresh is dot uh, com slash c slash freshman CEO. Yep. You want to talk about your vlog channel, guys? For behind the scenes, man, we're outside the studio having fun, enjoying life. Check out the <laughs> vlog channel, hundred can away. Let's go. And then uh, also, guys, check us out on Twitch. We're live live streaming on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast. And then also, Chris, you want to talk about your Twitch? Guys, uh, join me on Twitch on Aaron Poxon. I did a pre-show stream. Shout out to the guys. We had a level three hype train. So, Don Marco for you guys, by the way. Merch gang, we out here. And ladies, um, if you want to come on to our show, Listen DM me on me. Aaron Poxon. See Poxon on Instagram. On. Uh, make sure you are good to go. And we out here. All right, cool. All right. And then any video reactions, just send me a DM. I got you. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, for anything. So let's go around the panel, introduce uh, the lovely ladies and the guests. Go ahead. All right. So, ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, your current dating status. And we'll start right here. And your body count. <laughs> <laughs> Trick question, y'all. Never answer. All right. Uh, my name is Janelle. I am Janelle Gordon. I am 40 years old. I'm from Newport Beach or Newport Peach, California. And I'm an intimacy tantric sex coach and never tell your body count, ladies. Trick question. <laughs> Thanks for having me back, y'all. So Fair happy enough. to be here. Welcome back. Fair enough. Welcome back. I guess. Hello, my name is Gabby. I'm from Venezuela. I'm 21. I'm a server and I'm currently single. That's oh, it. Right, welcome back. What's up? My name is Zaria. I'm 25. I'm a professional choreographer and dancer. And yeah, I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. Just visiting, or you you live here? No, nah, I live here now. You live here now. Yeah. Okay. And your current dating status? I'm single. All right. Hi guys, I'm Nina. I'm 25 years old, and I'm single. Been single for about two months now. I don't like it out here on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. It's very oh. cold. So. I'm still looking for a husband. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, you go with that shit. <laughs> hey, man. I sure got some options, Nina. I'm sure you got oh. some options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do OnlyFans. OnlyFans.com slash Nina the Pineapple. And there goes the options. And, <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back. So thank you, guys. Welcome cool. back. It's good to have you. All right. Hi, my name is Sam. Fresh. Viva la diva. Uh, 29 years old from Aruba. Mm. Or 29? I'm 20, oh, oh, you all playing me like that early on? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, 
I work as a social media branding consultant, but I also bartend on the beach, and I am taken. These streets are not for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Good okay, job. Go. Okay, okay. How long have you been in a relationship? Uh, you know. Okay. A little Congrats. Over year, yeah. Congrats. Okay. Cool. Congrats. You made it. I want to be in <laughs> one. <laughs> You, know, you could be a one if you wanted to be. Come on now. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. You'd be married if you want to. What's up, y'all? My name is Steffi Boom. I'm 27, a professional tattoo artist. I make music, model, and I'm an actress. And I am single AF. Right. Still? Yes. Okay. For some of you guys that don't know, <laughs> she's been on the show a few times. First time she came on, she had a boyfriend, and I told her the truth about how men really think. <laughs> she didn't like that. So arguing with me. And then she came the second time, <laughs> single, and then and ready then, to mingle. Yeah, ready to mingle. And then the third time, I thought you would have found a guy by now, but I guess. No, I'm good right now. I'm chilling. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy to be single. Actually, right. fair, enough, fair enough. Fair enough. That's good. The last place we got in the building, all the way from the UK. <laughs> Who are you, brother? You see about me? Yeah. My name's David. I'm uh, unemployed. You got the mic. Oh shit! We got the mic. Yeah. Now you can talk into the mic. As I said, ten, <laughs> ten minutes ago, yeah. bro cussed me out. <laughs> but Jim is, cause, cause I love the show. Yeah. When he cussed me out, I understand where it come from. <laughs> it's the usual pattern. <laughs> but um, I'm just like, I I moved to LA. <laughs> um, a couple months ago, I live in that. I know about LA though. LA remind me of the bar. In terms of humi humidity, mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Welcome to Miami, brother. Yeah. I, don't you, know, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. You already lit, bro. But um, <laughs> very much so. I'm trying to. Hmm. I'm trying to be sober for the next month. I'm been sober <laughs> for about a year and a half. I'm trying to be. I'm. I'm trying to be sober. It makes sense. Starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe tomorrow. Tom maybe tomorrow. You know. You know good what. You. you know good, what. Good. Good. I'm sober from the time he cussed me out. We're, okay, good. We're here to support Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he told me that. What the fuck are you talking about? This is what we're talking about right now. I'm trying to be sober. I got my little drink right now. I'm I'm sober from the time he cussed me out. Great. All right, cool. cool. 100%. Fresh, I forgot to <laughs> add my relationship status. Oh, yeah. There you go. I am still taken by Shiva. So oh, What? Who's Shiva? Shiva's mine. <laughs> No, she's oh, by the way, by the way, I'm, hero. I'm, taking, I'm talking about hero. I'm right? Married. My missus is probably watching this right now. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, 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 that boy's married. Yeah, I'm married right married. now. My missus wow. might be watching this right now. right now. If she was just right now, I love you. Okay. Um, All right. Cool. Right. We have chats to read. That... Super chats. Yep. <laughs> that's the that's the only, that's the only time I'm, I'm gonna fight back. All right. All right. Five bucks. Ricky Webster. One love and passing the collection plate. French toast props do 100. Thank you so much. D nice. Five bucks. When are you guys going to bring uh, back the stun lifestyle back on? The first interview with Stunner was great. Uh, you guys came a long way. Proud of you guys. You like me? Uh, guys, stop talking, Yo, please. David. 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 Yo, Dave, Dave, Dave. Yo, real talk, bro. Just come on, man. Nah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Nah, nah you got to get off the panel, bro. Like, now it's starting to hurt the show quality, bro. Like, nah. You just gotta just take a seat at the, the couch, exactly. bro. Yeah, dead ass. A hundred percent. Uh huh. I apologize. Nah, bro. Like this is like the fifth time. Just, just exactly. go take a seat on the couch, bro. Yeah, exactly. it, 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 just I'm take a seat on the couch. And I apologize. It's cool, man. I I totally understand, but 100%. at this point, like, hundred percent. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah, no, nah, it's cool, man. Don't worry about it. Just take a seat on the couch. You don't gotta go. Just chill on the couch and you know what I'm saying. Enjoy couch. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, bro. Yeah. Put the phone up. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just, just, down. yeah. Just, just go take a seat over there. One hundred percent, I got you. All right. Let me know when it's my time back on the on the couch. No, nah, I mean just, just chill over there, bro. All right, cool. So, All right. Yeah. Um. Okay. So five bucks from uh D Nice. Uh, we he asked about stunt lifestyle. You want to answer that one? Yeah. So um, I mean, stunt's gonna be back soon. Uh, I spoke to him like maybe a week ago. So we'll see him soon. All right, cool. You read the rest of the chats. I got it. All right, A seven X five bucks says, "Yo, Myron, watch your part with DJ Academics right now. Super fascinating stuff. You're a straight up badass. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. God bless." Here we go. All right, Robert Moreno, uh, ten bucks says, "Beautiful ladies tonight. Hi, wifey." All right. Sick. Okay, we got uh, lick my balls, our balls. <laughs> Never masturbate with Tiger Bomb. 
I mean, who does that? What? What's Tiger, Tiger Balls? Why Tiger would you do that? that? That's, it's like That's so yeah. spicy. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, like for, it's for like, sore why why muscles. That? That, mean, that is tough. It is a muscle, though. All right. <laughs> you got no, the D is an <laughs> organ, not a muscle. But it has muscles <laughs> in it. Yeah. It, it, you know. Chris West, five bucks, says, you guys know what RSD is? An ever study pickup? Do you ever read the game by Neil Strauss? Yeah, I think Myron has definitely for, for sure, but um, I haven't. Ryan Lemer, 10 bucks, says, y'all need to start p- passing on calculators for women who actually want to give accurate body counts. <laughs> Carry the three <laughs> multiplied by Greg, Tyrone, and Jeremy, and a random from last week equals too many. Ouch. Uh, Nature Blow Tab, Tab the uh, 35 uh, Czar says, Black Chat next to guest is fire. I think that's you. Uh, what's yeah. your Instagram? Zaria, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my Instagram is Z A R R I A L E A U X. Zaria Low. Oh, wow. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. And we uh, got uh, Thunder. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, we got um, <laughs> Thunder Clash. Mark. Chris. Some of these. Five bucks says, get bruv some water. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got th- th- Thunder Clap. Five bucks says, this dude David is lit. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> We got El Machiner, five bucks says more. I think it means Myron's, Myron's body language is classic. Yeah, and then uh, Ian Simone uh, Simmons, uh, what the hell is going on? Twenty dollars, it's cool, bro. Rob, Roberta Moreno <laughs> Castle, <laughs> the dude, fair enough. <laughs> and then uh, the Reaction King, twenty dollars, forty year old built like Miss Bellum from <gasps> Powerpuff Girls. Oh shit! So hot. No, is that, no. That's a compliment. Is that, 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 that bad? Hair? Is that bad no, 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 no. Okay. she snatched. She, Chris, you could probably pull it up on yeah, the side yeah, if you guys yeah, yeah, yeah. on oh Google. Uh, cool. And then we got uh, Mizu. Shout out, to, <laughs> shout out Myron for the bubblegum Frank Castle <laughs> kindest semi pool I've ever uh, seen. Respect to your hairline and patience, even when tired as fuck. Yeah, I didn't sleep last night, guys. Really like that. Uh, we had uh, just so y'all know, we did the late night show. I went and got some food, uh, and then after that, I just stayed up a few hours, and I went to the Grand Cardone uh, Real Estate oh, um, okay. Summit, yep. and then I got back around, uh, so I didn't sleep the whole day, and then I came back, uh, slept for a few hours, and then we did the, we're did we doing a night show now. So, yeah, man, uh, you know, I'm, I feel okay now. I'm a little tired, but, you know, it is what it is. We got to make things happen, and then we got another, uh, I think the summit is also tomorrow as well, so I'll probably go back. Um, it was good. It was good to be around a bunch of, like, multimillionaires in there. I'm I over here, that. as you guys know, I, I bought six real estate properties this year. That's nothing compared to some of these other guys. They're talking about multi-million dollar deals for like 32 units and shit. And I'm like, damn, I just bought a fourplex and I thought I was cool. That don't mean shit, <laughs> you know? So, but this, this is who they're talking about, guys, by the way. <laughs> these guys, bro. Oh, cool. y'all, y'all hilarious, Thank bro. Thank you. Yeah, man, with the 90s cartoon references. Uh, Mizu, 10 bucks. Shout out to Mara. Oh, no, read that one. And then uh, 10 bucks. Uh, if Nina is the starter Pokemon, girl next to Fresh is the final evolution. Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> Buy one BBL, get one free. Okay, cool. So uh, we got a... Um, Two more? Oh, two, oh, two more? more? Oh, Girl Next to Fresh looks like Mortika from Adam Family. Uh, <laughs> and then Mang ENT, time to put some of that coat you guys have stockpiled to use. LMAO. <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> Mang ENT. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. That, uh, that's all jokes, by the way, guys. I've never uh, done a drug in my life. We always kid around when we say yeah. that shit. Uh, Chris West, uh, you, yo, can you talk about pickup and RSD? That's where this material comes from. It has roots. From the pickup community and the game by uh Neil Strauss, I think is what you mean. You put Bell Strauss, but Neil Strauss. Uh yeah, I mean, bro, we're gonna we're gonna bring uh, Owen back on, so don't worry. Yeah, and then leak my bowls. Uh greetings from the Netherlands. It's 6 a.m. here. Shout out to you, bro, with the five Sheesh. euro. Appreciate it, man. We got the whole world watching. We respect it. Uh we appreciate it. Okay, so ladies on the panel, first question for you. Where should a guy, in your opinion, take you on the first date and then why? And we'll start right here. I like arcade games. Like, I like a place where we can, like, kind of interact with each other and have fun at the same time, but still be able to talk. So, Dave and Busters? For a first date? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Dave and Busters? Uh, sure. Actually, there's a really dope spot in Kendall called uh, Space Odyssey, I believe. Mm. I really recommend it. They sell beer there. They have all the old school arcade games. Love it. Cool. All right. Speaking of Dave and Buster's, I'll tell you a funny story after this. <laughs> uh, I like to drink and walk. So, hey. what? Yeah, I like to drink and walk. That's fun, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, drink so, well, Talk once shit. we, like, grab a drink maybe in Wynwood and just, like, kind of walk around, get to know each other, talk, enjoy all the bars that are out there. It's a bar hop. 
a bar hop, but gotcha. you get to talk when you're walking, so it it's, works out. It's funny. I concur because in Wynwood, you go to a mojito bar, you get a mojito, and you walk outside, you exactly talk, look that. at the art. Exactly. And what that. are you into? Boom, boom, boom. Before you know it, an hour passed, two hours passed. Exactly. With two hours. On to the next spot. And then uh, uh, third minutes go inside yeah. the car, man. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Check out my vlog channel for some some of those dates. Anyway, <laughs> right, what about you? I think either to eat in psychology. <laughs> oh, you funny. <laughs> I think uh, going out to eat and all, also like going out to walk the dog is a mm. good date. Okay. Nice and simple. That's cute. Hey, man. Uh... <laughs> I would say the fair because it's enough stuff to you can have fun and then it's like quiet enough where you can have conversation and stuff and walk. So I would say the fair. Wait, hold on. What? Wait, like, what, fair? Fair. what fair is all year round? Though? Yeah, what yeah they have about? different places where they have fairs that are just uh, they have like Ferris wheels. They have like smaller fairs. Maybe not here in Florida, but you know. Oh, you mean okay? Yeah, like, you know what like, I'm talking about. Like the one in Bayside is like a Ferris yeah. wheel. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But that's, that's not a fair though. That's you know like what? one ride. Well, <laughs> I still say the fair because. You know, okay, yeah, like on Louisiana. Uh, I'll say, uh, go to eat or maybe go to the beach, smoke a blunt, and that's it. Talk all night long, okay, mm. cool. I think it depends like what I want from the guy or what the guy wants from me. Like, that's how you should decide what you want. Where do you want to take the girl? Mm -hmm. For instance, if you want to try to wipe me up. I'm so sorry, y'all. If you want to try to wipe me up, then you got to, you know, come strong. Like, show me your card. Show me your... I'm going to show you what I got going on. I'm going to, you know, put my best foot forward. Come strong? Exactly. But if you're just come trying to be... <laughs> that was Chris. You know? That was Chris, by the way. That was not me. <laughs> if you're just trying to, you know, smash, as they're saying it these days, then you should just take me somewhere basic because don't set the bar high. And then, and then you know, yeah. I'm like, oh, this guy's the one. And then you just, you fuck me and then run. So, like... Just be who you are, you know, like just take me to, you know, drive through or just Netflix and chill it and don't like just be exactly what you want to do. Yeah, so yeah. if you want to go somewhere with me, then show your cards that way. Like, for instance, my guy on the first date, he took me to a really nice restaurant in Newport Beach and he drove like an hour and a half after he'd worked all day to take me there. And now we're together like, I don't know, seven or eight months later, you know. So, yeah, that's what I think. That's pretty good. Can All I say right. something? Thank you. I, I said the, the name of the place wrong. I thought about the movie and not the actual place. It's Arcade Odyssey. I just wanted to clear that up. I said Space Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> She's like waiting for guys I'm to like, take like, notes. Like, I fuck her up. <laughs> take her out of the state. Yeah. Um, so I'll tell you guys the Dave and Buster's thing. So I don't know if y'all know this, but... Uh, <laughs> what Drake and Future do all the time is they rent out a Dave and Buster's mm. here in Miami and they invite all the... <laughs> all the attractive girls and this is actually very funny because i thought about this and i was like this is fucking genius because this is what you do you bring in all these attractive girls hey we're, we're you know we're renting out dave and busters and the girls show up and they, they don't they don't talk to them they just like let the girls come and play the games and entertain themselves they just sit there with their homeboys they don't got to do shit to entertain the chicks and the chicks just stick around because as y'all know if you ever throw a party right and you have like a bunch of girls there and only a few guys it's only a matter of time until the girls get bored and leave you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because whether women want to admit it or not, like, oh, no, we go to, out for ourselves. No, you don't. You go out to get attention from guys. That's if you don't believe me, when there's like a 100 girls and like five dudes, the chicks eventually get bored and leave. Unless like, you know, it's like you're like an A-list celeb or whatever. Then they'll stick around and take their, well, they won't take pictures, but they'll stick around. But in general, if it's like a crazy ratio, the girls are going to leave. So what these guys did, Future and Drake, every time they're here in Miami, they have these Dave and Buster parties. The girls go there. And then they're just entertained with the games. They don't got to do shit. And it's fucking yeah. smart because then they go around after. Hey, you want to go to studio after? And shit like that. That's their game. And then the girls like that. The, the, so the girls, they get the place. The girls are entertained. They don't got to talk shit, talk to them. Nothing. They, they chill there with their homeboys. And then at the end, as before it ends, hey, we're going to go to the studio. You want to come through? And then they just yeah. pull the, the most attractive ones. So Bye, very Felicia. interesting. Very interesting. What was, what was that, Chris? Is that by Felicia? What? By Felicia. By Felicia. Oh, yeah. by Felicia. <laughs> That sound effect trash, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> what the trash. hell? That shit sound nah, terrible. That's some genius game. Though. But yeah, that's like, that's it's great. It's creative because they just pick the best yeah. ones that they want and then it's okay. Peace. Now, here's the thing though. When you have, when you're at that level, that's fantastic because you don't got to entertain all these girls. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so many of them and there's only so few of you guys, right? But I think for a regular guy, 
you don't want to take a girl out to Dave and Buster's on a first date. You know no. what I'm saying? That's something that you do for a girl that you've already been having sex Correct. with casually, whatever. But like for a first date, I get what you're saying. Like, yeah, well, you know, I'd like to do that. It's fun. Yeah, it's fun and shit. For you. Yeah, for you, but not for the guy. <laughs> right. And and what I've come to realize is because I was looking, you know, listening to the girls' first date options. And some of y'all gave like, you know, good first date options for both genders, and some of you guys gave first good first date options for like for yourself. Like the fair, for example, terrible <laughs> for a guy to do that. But the girl benefits. So, like, I'm not, like, knocking y'all for, like, picking dates that benefit you as a woman. Like, it's not sexual. It's open. You're out in public. You're able to do activities. So you're able to kind of offset if the guy's awkward. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because let's be honest here. How many times, how many of you have been on an awkward-ass date with a dude? Raise your hand. Yeah. Yeah, right? So if you, you've never been on an awkward uh, date with a guy? Ever. I'm good at reading. I read energy. I when can you were, tell when you were younger, me. you've never been on a date with an awkward guy? That well, didn't really know how to convey himself properly, couldn't hold uh, a conversation. Perhaps of course, you yes. wish you, yeah, wish you went <laughs> went to some other kind of, course, of date yes. that maybe you could have. I've definitely been in situations like back that. Back in your sure. days, yeah. yeah. Back so, in my days, yeah, back in so long and ago. I, and I think I think that's the reason why girls love like activity type dates because what happens is if the guy's like socially awkward or he doesn't really know how to hold a conversation, y'all have an activity that can kind of offset the social awkwardness. Yeah. Which is like natural that girls pick that, but you know, I think for average guys, like that's not your best bet. You always want to do like a drinking date or something. None of the girls said that, which, well, you said smoke a blunt on the beach, I guess. Yeah, I said I go said to a restaurant. Said, so. I said oh. drinking date. No, she said drinking drink. yeah, yeah. oh. You said drinking drink water. Yeah. She said drinking drink water. Because I be doing that shit. Yeah. Legit, that shit works. <laughs> it does. That's how I ended up in a relationship now. So. <laughs> he got it right. He got it right. Well, so okay. you do what works. Yeah, drinking water. But, but yeah, you were the only one that said that. Like everybody else, kind of picked like politically correct you know, mean, dates, which is fine. Like, and then she had smoke like one on the beach. I like smoke, yeah, but it's, it's still single. So what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. Emotion. What the fuck am I doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> you know. So um. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. But uh, the very very interesting uh stuff. But yeah, for y'all that like got a little bit of clout, y'all can run out of Dave and Buster's and, have, and buy a bunch of hey, fat and see what happens. You gotta you gotta evolve. The you game, know, but man. that's how Drake and Future run the game. If y'all are wondering in Miami what they do, that's that's what no, they do. Talk, the higher you, you level up, the more you gotta advance your game. You gotta try to do different things because yeah. the old shit isn't gonna work. The hell, yeah. Because here's the thing, like like because they used to do like private mansion parties and shit like that. But bro, you got it's too much. But, but what they do is they invite hundred plus chicks. There's yeah. like what ten niggas in there. You ain't gonna be able to entertain all of them. And then the girls are gonna get bored. I always say like women are kind of like cats. You know, you throw a ball of yarn at the cat. And the cat will play, and then if you drag it away a little bit, it'll continue to play with the ball of yarn. But as soon as you keep that ball of yarn stagnant, it gets bored. It's like, all right, fuck this shit. And then it leaves. That's how women kind of are. Like, they get pretty. They show up to this party. No one's talking to them. Her and their friends. And they see all the other girls. Some other girls getting attention. Like, fuck those bitches. And they leave. They go somewhere else. So it is what it is, you know. Sure. They'll go to be able to say, I went to Drake's party. And it was trash. Like, that's, that's, that's the first thing, bro. Like, uh, here in Miami, so all the time. Oh, I went to Lil Pump's party. It was trash. Oh, I went to Tori Lane's party. It was trash. And in my head, I'm like, bro, you just fucking mad. They didn't talk to you. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> I already know what that means. Like, it was trash. No, they just didn't give you attention and you're mad. That's it's, what it really is. True. Translation. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, giving y'all some game on how it goes here in Miami. Uh, anything else? Okay. No. Uh, Ladies, thoughts on that? I don't know. Uh, was I was I capping? Is that true? No, that's true. Sounds pretty uh, true. Fairly accurate. I, I think know. the only place where girls will be like outnumbered, but would the gotta, only place? Gotta, yeah, rotate yeah. it towards the you. The only yeah. place where guys girls will be outnumbered by guys um, is clubs. strip clubs. Yeah, and but they're they're for money, so you know they're going to stay there obviously until mm-hmm. they get their money. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. for sure, for sure. So next question. So ladies, what should a guy talk about on a first date? And it's important because a lot of guys will go on dates and they'll like either talk too much or say their own things and then turn you off. So obviously speaking, that's not a good strategy. But what should guys talk about on a date with you to make things work? And we'll start right here. Okay. Um, so I always go like a little deeper into the question. Is this assuming what is this date for? Is this date just to smash or is this date to like start a relationship? Because there's a different set of questions for both. What are you what are you saying, Fresh? I'll say let's just talk about smashing for now. Okay. Well then you don't it starts with smashing. You, you don't really have to say it's much always for that. Smashing, so. It's like, okay, so if you're if you're just trying to smash, then you, the questions don't need to be that in depth. You just need to make a girl feel safe, make sure she's seen, and make sure she feels like quote, you know, like she, you're giving her energy. So just bait really simple questions. You're not trying to get deep. You're trying to just get into her pants. Yeah. Let's be honest. It's not that it's not that hard. And I think a lot of guys think it's harder than what it is. Just take an it, interest. It is nod. really hard though. With all the I disagree with you, but that's fine. Continue. <laughs> okay. Please. I think it's just you have to take a genuine interest in her and act like you genuinely care and do one thing, guys. This is it right here. Actually listen. 
Oh, uh, active listening actually is important. listen and re repeat some things back and then you know be interested and you'll get in your pants it's not that hard I, I agree with you that uh listening is a critical comp it's, component well, we've discussed that at length and how you know it actually you know listening is is a, a very um it's a high indicator of social intelligence and you're just being somewhat aware because if a girl tells you something and then you mention it back up maybe even in a joke two or three hours later that's what i was she's like damn okay you listen because a lot of guys don't, you know what I'm saying? Right. But but I, I will say, too, that, um, you know, I get what you're saying. Hey, be fairly direct or whatever and try to get the box. I mean, you could do that, but a lot of girls are going to write you off if you try to do that. Like, like that's the thing, because, like, if guys could be honest with girls, they would be, but they can't. Like, you Why know what I'm saying? Why do guys think that? I think, right. honestly, th this is a great point. Because yeah. a lot of girls, if you just said, because, like, back in the day when I was single and not with my guy, mm -hmm. like, I just wanted to fuck, too. And I would rather someone just say, like, hey, like, just be honest. Like, yeah. what are you here? Like, why are you here on this date? Like, are you looking? What are you looking for? Are you looking for something casual? Do you want to just Netflix and chill? Do you want to go back and fuck? If they said that, I would respect them and be like, yeah, let's go now. Let's just skip dinner. Fuck it. You know, but no one ever had the balls to actually say that to me. See, see, that's all good and dandy. But the problem is that, like, you might be cool with it, but seven other girls might not be. And that might just say, you know what? But okay, that's, X, that's their, that, that, that's their, love. I don't know. Like, <laughs> but see, that's uh, the thing. I feel like merch. she's agreeing with I, yeah, me. You're like, agreeing with me. I don't know if it's something that comes with age or Correct. what it is, but I age. always yeah, felt like, merch. I always felt like. By Yo, the lay the cards. Yes. Whatever it is. You give me the option to choose Correct. if I'm down to do whatever. Yeah. Don't give me like false illusions Correct. and false hopes in the beginning and then it doesn't turn out that way. And then it's not way. that right. No. It's you just rather that. them say what it is. Like, hey, I like you. I'm going to pay for your meal. I'm going to pay for your drinks, even though you guys say not to do that or whatever. But yeah. No, we I, actually do say Okay. That. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'd i like to, you know, I'd like to make love with you. I'd like to have sex with you. I'd like to smash. Whatever. Are you down with that? You find me attractive? Would you like, yeah, cool. Great. Let's do it. And I might not call you. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> yeah, that sounds, I, I know, might ghost you after but it's okay. That, sound, that sounds fantastic on paper, <laughs> but that would never work, ladies. Like I'm just gonna keep we're, it all the way. We're exaggerating. With we're exaggerating a little yeah, bit but, at the end. But, but even but. if you were half as direct as what you guys are proposing, you would still get rejected. Like you, I, I get what you guys are saying. Honesty is the best policy. Well, honesty would be the best policy if you had a high success rate with being honest. The reality is, if you're honest with a girl and say, "Listen, man." I want to just fornicate. Have you done that though? <laughs> Have most of your guys actually gone on a date, paid for a date, a nice date, and said, "Hey, I really like you. You're beautiful." Obviously, yeah. say something to get build rapport. Number yeah. one thing is you got to build a rapport. Yeah, with I mean, it, 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 yeah, it could work, but it could also not work. But here's the thing: even though it's possible, it doesn't mean it's probable. So if I lined up 100 girls and I went on 100 dates with 100 different girls, and I was direct, I'd probably get laid maybe by five or ten of them, and that's assuming I did everything else correctly. However, if I withheld that directness to some degree and, you know, played the game, was charming and all this other bullshit, I probably would increase my likelihood of getting laid because the reality is most women can't handle the truth. You guys say you want That's the truth, true. but you guys can't handle it. And I've said it too. I've kind of like pulled back, you know, broken the third wall on this. Why women say they want you to be honest. You guys don't have to agree with me, but I'm just going to say it anyway because I know I'm going to get hit with the... Uh, How dare you? The reason why women want you to be honest, right, and upfront with your intentions so that they can immediately disqualify you if you don't meet their certain metric at that given point in their stat situation. Right away. For example, Absolutely. girls are changing their thing every now and then. So on Tuesday, she might say, you know what? I'm kind of horny. If I go on a date with a guy, I'll fuck. And then that day passes. Okay, you know what? I'm looking for someone that's going to take me somewhat seriously. So you're kind of at the whim of how the girl's feeling when you go out with her. So... She might want to smash one day and then she might not want to smash another day. So you're better off just having what I consider like a more catch all approach where you're attractive enough, right, to keep the arousal. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you're not giving away all the cards because if you tell a girl straight up, hey, I just want to fuck, she's going to be like, all right, um, I'm going to disqualify this guy from taking him seriously for any degree. And on top of that, I'm not going to smash because that's all he wants me for. Because girls at the end of the day want to always be able to have the sexual leverage. Like, I want to be able to tell, like, dictate how this thing goes. So if a guy tells you straight up, hey, I just want to fuck, you can immediately be like, I'm disqualifying this guy. I'm going to go find another guy that I can maybe get an another date out of. Another guy's going to take me more serious. A guy that's going to respect me. That's the truth. No girl wants to feel objectified. And if that's a guy true. tells you, I just want to fuck, whether you want to accept it or not, you're going to feel objectified to some degree. See, the best approach is to have some mystery in there because think about this. If you're very upfront, like I said earlier, you can get some girls, but you're probably going to lose a lot more than you would get. But the air of mystery is still there. And she's curious to say, okay, what does he really want? She's going to want to find out more about you. So if I take but, everything up front, then there's no more mystery. 
But remember, girls are always fucking a handful of guys anyway. So you might be that handful of guy that they're fucking (laughs) on their... What girls are doing that? Most girls I know, they just won't tell you. They won't admit it. They're looking for Mr. Right, but they're still sleeping with a repertoire of men. They're just not telling anyone. And this is the truth. We talked about this last podcast. So if you're on a date with me and I'm dating this other guy, but I'm not giving it up to him, I'm probably going to give it up to you. So your chances Mm -hmm. are actually pretty good. Because I'm sleeping with several guys while I'm waiting for this guy to take me serious because he thinks I'm not sleeping with him. So you might be one of the guys I fucked that night. That's just the truth. But most women will not admit that. But the guy that you want him to take you seriously is not going to take you seriously because you're smashing a bunch of guys. But But he he doesn't doesn't know know that. that. And it happens. I've done it before. They know. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They don't know. They always assume that. If they're smart, they should assume because we know they're fucking a handful of girls. That's not true. Most guys, no. Yeah. Honestly speaking, <laughs> they might not know. Might not no. Most guys might not know. No, you gotta don't. be. You gotta be yeah. s- s- somewhat. We both done well, it. Yeah, exactly. Women. You gotta have like <laughs> options, but yeah. keep it in like the car. You don't like you not... don't flaunt your stuff. You no. just do it. Come on. That's the difference between men and women. That's correct. Like, women know how to keep that dirt under, under the, the. That's right. Men like to flaunt. They, they like do. to be. It's like, an ego poos. Exactly. I'm smashing yeah. twenty chicks, and I'm going out with this dime tonight. I'm gonna try to get her too. Women, we're not gonna say that. Most women won't even admit what we're. We're rare to admit it. Exactly. But it's the honest truth. It is. The three or four chronicles. Yeah, but uh. But yeah, I mean, um, in general, like, again, I get what you're saying. Yeah. In a it's perfect just world, you know, you go on a date. Hey, I just want to smash. Okay, well, you know what? I'm feeling you too. Let's do this. But it doesn't work, ladies. Like, it do- it, it doesn't work. Like, girls don't want to be, like, girls want the honesty, not so that they can smash you. They want it so they can quickly write you off and move on to someone else. Because that's why girls really want honesty, to reserve the right. Because, all right, mm-hmm. I might offend you guys by saying this too, but I'm just going to say it. Women always want to reserve the right to have the manipulation leverage. That's true. And what I mean by that, yeah, because typically, let's be honest here, when when it when two genders are dealing with each other, men and women, right? Who's getting finessed ninety percent of the time? The men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they're getting finessed because the women leverage sex for attention, compliance, and resources. The men, you know, leverage their resources or whatever time against the women. But a lot of the times, what do guys end up doing? They give their money, time, and resources, and don't get the sex. So the girls are winning in most situations. When a man plays the same game a woman does and he also kind of you know has that air of mystery now the woman's got to fight fire with fire and a lot of women don't like have, doing that that's why like you know podcasts like us guys that talk about how to get girls whatever we're always sh- shamed misogynist toxic fuck boy culture blah 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 it's because we're giving guys you know kind of the game on how to deal with women because we're playing the same game y'all do which is manipulation to some degree i know it might sound fucked up no it's true you know, it manipulation is. is a bad word but really if you're gonna think about it it's just all it is is just kind of contorting reality a bit to make people think that something's going to happen when it might not necessarily happen. And that's how women operate. Like, I mean, makeup, wearing certain types of clothing, etc. The whole female mystique is based around manipulation. And that's not to be an asshole, but it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so women rarely want to give up the, the, give the leg up on men in the manipulation game. So if a guy is honest, he forfeits his ability to use manipulation against you. Mm-hmm. And you still have all the cards because he doesn't necessarily know what your intentions are. That's why I think women truly want men to be to be honest so that they can maintain that leverage. Women always want a decided advantage in a dating game. And guys like us that teach guys, hey, well, no, you can manipulate too. Oh, that's toxic. It's like, <laughs> nah, bro, yeah, I've been doing it too. It's just that, you know, when a guy does it, it's so rare and far few between that it's like it's almost novel. And women don't want that because if guys play the same game, well, they you have know, no it, power. Would, it would be fucked up. Huh? What was that? No, I'm saying they have no power. Yeah, yeah, it, it would limit their ability to, yeah, it would limit their power to but some degree. But you hold the sure. power in regards to relationships. You guys dictate that. Like, but we, that's so far down the line, though. Correct, how but far? most women, <laughs> she wants to know how far, but most women, it's they do far. have that in the back of their mind. They're like, right away, they'll think about, would this guy be a good partner? Right exactly. away, you guys aren't yeah. thinking that. You're like, is this guy chick can be a good lay? Does she suck dick yeah. well? Yeah. You know, yeah. can she take it all? But we're thinking like, First date. How many of you have thought of this? Could this guy be my husband? Always. So we're always like, fuck, I wonder if this is the one. And y'all are always like, is this the one for me tonight? (laughs) It's never the one. Um, uh, You know? Yeah, but but you guys have have the decided advantage in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, the, the thing is, is that the man still has to do a, a ridiculous amount of the lifting because even if let's say a guy's attractive and he has all his accolades in place and he's a good catch, he's still gotta go up talk to you 
build attraction, deal with your bitchy ass friends that wants to cock block, <laughs> maybe, uh, you know, deal with a loud ass club. It depends on the venue that he meets you, you know, deal with you saying, oh, no, I have a boyfriend when in reality you kind of find him cute, but you're just trying to play hard to get <laughs> mm -hmm. like he's still got to deal with all these objections. And some guys might not have the skill or experience to be able to, to deal with it. That's true. You know, you get you. There's so many eligible bachelors that get curved by girls that aren't even on their level, but they get curved because, you know, women are used to having so many options. I mean, hell, if y'all don't believe me, we brought girls on a pod that literally say, yeah, I want a guy that's six foot five, make it 500 K a year. That's fairly common. You know, I've had girls come on the show and say, yeah, six foot five. I think that's 60 percent of the male population. I'm like, holy oh. fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but that goes to show, which is good. It's good and bad. You know, I've come to realize that like women tend to have an overabundance mindset and men tend to have an over scarcity mindset like guys are so scared to lose girls and girls are just so easy to just toss guys to the side roll like there's another one down the road another chad somewhere but what mm -hmm. they don't get is that yeah there's a lot of high value men but how many high value guys that you like are going to take you seriously Crazy. for a relationship you know so i think both parties kind of have it fucked up where men are way too scarce and then women are way too abundant and there's way more women on the planet anyway. So you guys shouldn't be in scarcity mindset. Yeah. That's if all if all things, if you really like, this is the honest truth, especially in Atlanta, it's like 14 to one. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. even with multiple women being on, sorry, more women being on the planet, are guys getting access? No. So with more women doesn't mean there's more access. Uh, because they have no game. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. lack of resourcefulness. Yeah. Lack of yeah. resourcefulness. But also you got to remember too, you know, it, it's on both parties. Like the men are, have a scarcity mindset and then the women have an overabundance mindset. And and I, we, we've talked about this at length. I think Instagram and the internet in general has created this, like uh, help women have this crazy abundance mindset almost to the point of detriment because mm -hmm. <laughs> we bring women on the show and we ask them, Hey, what do you want in a guy? And we pull out that calculator. Oh, yeah. They're shocked at how rare the man that they want actually is. Yeah. Like, what? I'm around these guys all the time. And I'm like, yeah, but you got to remember how many of these dudes are actually going to commit and take you seriously. That's it. You know, just because a guy gives you attention, says, I'll take you on a date. And he, you know, is a six figure earner and attractive, whatever. Is that guy going to wife you? You know, sexual attraction, is not the same as relationship attraction. I think a lot of women make that fatal flaw. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with guys. That's true. Guys fuck up too. Oh, she's bad. I'm a wifer. No, you fucking stupid. Yeah. She, she might not be <laughs> She's it. bad for everyone. Yeah. She's out there in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So, Very giving in the ways. community. Yo, yeah. so, someone said ladies to Sunare. What was that? What is it? next to me. What was it? Lady Sunare from Naruto. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. So jokes. she's one of the, uh, I want to say, Kage's. All right, she has big tits. In okay. anime, Monster anime short. and she has uh, huge tits. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so next for you. Okay. What should a guy talk about on a date to like get at you or turn you on? You would say, um, follow a conversation like a rational conversation with me. Not it's not like he asked me like, oh, what do you do for a living? And I said, oh, I'm a server. Oh, okay. You wanna go to my house? Like that's so dumb. Like you know, follow a fucking conversation. Obvious. Then we go to your house. That's fine. Oh wait, so he can't be honest. Yeah, but he was so good. At least try. Yeah, you what's up, you know? At least fucking try. <laughs> Netflix and chill. I mean, he he, he tried to get you to his house. <laughs> hey, can you serve me at my house? I'm here alone. <laughs> What, Chris? Hey, and guys, can Bad you please? Joke. There's only 1.5k likes, guys. There's over 5,000 y'all in here. Please do me a favor and like, the, like video. the video, man. Please go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, that was it. That was it. Okay. What about you? Uh, simple questions. Just like butter me up. At least make me think that you're interested in what the fuck I got going on. Like, bitch. Proves my point. You know Don't what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just said you just want to fuck. So I'm not going to fuck nobody who I think doesn't like me. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so act like you like me. Butter me up. What What you do for a living? Oh, I do this. Oh, that's cool. Fascinating. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, cool. Can I see some videos? <laughs> like, that'll be like, oh. All right. But, yo, but, but, yo, yo, you know what's funny? <laughs> that's what I do on dates. <laughs> Maybe I'll sit there and I'll be like, tell me more. Yes. Oh, oh, no, good. wait. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, you got to be kidding me. She, For real? She, she did that oh to you? God. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. you got to be engaging. Like, like engage in the conversation. Yeah. You can't be bullshitting because you go, listen, if she said she met this dude at A, B, C, D, and you say X, Y, Z, oh, you're not paying attention. Well, that's but if you remember, like, yo, that dude was funny that you met at, at Starbucks. Wait, how, wait, you remember that? You're it's all listening. about paying attention. Active yeah. listening. Like I mean, so what if I'm paying attention to your, you know, your eyes, your body, you know, your assets physically? Is that something or no? 
Don't yeah. be so obvious about yeah. it. No, well, first of all, I already know that's great. Chris, I mean, it's I like Chris with the pervy question. I mean, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said, hey, I mean, like, she's actually she's like, hey, man, get to know me, you know. But I'm like, all right, well, I'm getting to know I see her, her personality, right. man. Uh, I just want to smash. So I was like, what's up? Yo, I can hold you. I'm going to look at her. You know what's funny? When I go on a date with her, I'm going to look at her body, bro. I, I look at her in her eyes. That's the you good. You know what? I want her good. soul. Yeah. But isn't that what attracted <laughs> you to me anyway? So why are you. You know, I am me down like that. You already see me wherever you met me at the mall. Exactly. Yeah. So at this point, so at this point, give give me some yeah. conversation. You Look, know what I'm saying? Show, go, show, show uh, attention by action. Like exactly. if, if if you're into her, look her in the eyes, actively listen, and then when you get to the dance floor, then you could like. You feel exactly. me? But don't do it beforehand because then that's too thirsty. Right. Now I'm gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta be chill. You gotta be chill. Take All me home. Right. <laughs> you're doing too much. Nina. The, the only time, oh, I was just going to say one thing. Uh, the only time I've realized that, like, being, like, extremely direct with women can work is if, like, you're a dude that's, like, a somebody. You know what I'm saying? If you're, like, athlete, celebrity, whatever, hmm. then you could afford to be a little bit more direct. Like, in, in other words, you could be as direct as your options allow you to be direct, if that that's makes true. sense. Like, if you don't give a fuck and you're like, yo, I got other girls that want to fuck with me anyway, what you want to do? And she's like, oh, you're like, all right, get the fuck out. Like, that's why rappers, you know what I'm saying, all the time. Uh, you know, if you if you go to a rapper's hotel and you don't smash, she's gonna kick you out. Like uh-huh. he, they're not even gonna sit there and waste time a lot of the time. We know some here in Miami. Yeah, we go to the party. You don't fucking, you gotta go. Yeah, you get kicked <laughs> out. Go. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's that's the thing. Like you know, having like, you got two heirs, right? You got guys that sit there and go on like ten dates, and then you got guys that like aren't. If you come through, they're not even gonna tolerate talking to you. That's like they're true. you you gotta smash. So I say you need to be at a point where you're direct. Somewhere yeah, middle. happy medium. Yeah. yeah, right where. You're direct to the point where you're not wasting your time, but at the same time, you got to be cognizant of like the woman's like comfort level to some degree. Like she said, said earlier, said it perfectly. Most women are gonna want to feel like you're invested <laughs> to some degree with them, whether you want to cap or actually be invested is up to you, depending yeah. on the girl. But uh, you know, I think the best thing is to just get be around a chick that you like in general. That way, you don't gotta fake it. Cause yo, you mm-hmm. can only tolerate a bad bitch and have sex with her for so long before sure. you're like, fuck this shit. This is annoying. But this yeah. is why it's so important to always. Uh, as we see on the show, FaceTime first and see how you know you guys talk over the phone and see where she's at because mm-hmm. it's just high interest. Obviously, when you go on a date now, is even more interest. But if it's just like high and dry, then you kind of know what, you, what you're getting on the date. Yeah, and you can gauge interest level from from FaceTime. So. Yeah, I mean, some guys will sit there and tolerate like you know an annoying ass chick because she's attractive. Yeah, and they'll go on the multiple dates or they'll wait it out. Which yeah. I don't think you guys should do that. But it's up to you what you what you're willing to tolerate. But you know. Yeah, you know, everyone has different things. Some guys won't go more than one date. Some guys will go up to five dates. It really depends on you. My biggest thing is just like, don't get finesse, man. That's yeah. the biggest thing, bro. Don't get finesse. Nina, if a guy's taking you on a first date, what should he talk about? I think the first date should be for getting to know each other. So I want to hear something about you. Tell me about yourself and ask me questions about my about me. So that, like she said, I know that you're interested. I know that you're into me. And don't make it awkward. A lot of guys, they make it awkward because they get nervous. They're they're so afraid of, you know, Rejection. screwing up uh, and judgment that they make the first day awkward. They have no game. Mm. I don't know. Join the course or something. Well, that's why they have this show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're, you're right because a lot of guys, they'll go on a date. and Either they're nervous or they're kind of like, you know, oh, I don't want to uh, not show atten- uh, intentions. So I'm going to be thirsty at the very beginning. You got to like calm collected hey she came on a date with you that means she has some interest on some level if whether it's for the food or for you you gotta figure that out (laughs) but at the same time if you're chill calm you listen to her let her do most of talking you ask questions then you know what i'm saying which is why we tell you guys always take them on a first low investment date bro because that's gonna that's gonna screen out like especially if you're in a city like miami or whatever that's gonna screen out the girls that just want to like you know get a free come up off i don't want one more thing here if you're making money Obviously, you don't want to go to a rinky dink place. You, you're at a strong level. So you're going to go to where you want to go, but make sure it's not like anything too crazy yeah. like Nobu. Yeah. Like a chill. Wait, Nobu is crazy? Well, I mean, yeah, that's for, for first date. For, for first date, yeah. I mean, first date, not in like where I live in Newport Beach. That's like normal. Yeah, no. Most guys in here should yeah, take a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I'm like, that's like. Remember, we're going off the average, not okay. your own. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's... Typical female response. What for me? That's no. not right. <laughs> Okay. No, she's cool. the stars right now. So. Nina, you got any stories about, uh, about guys that come with kind of like a weird date for you? Yeah, there was just too many quiet times mm. and awkward silence. Yeah, awkward silence. Boring. 
But why don't you fill the gap, Mina? Why didn't you? Why didn't you generate because the conversation? I think as a man, you you're lead. the leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. fair That's enough. Right. And you right. set the tone for the date. Okay. Nina's been watching the show, man. Yeah. Something Nina. No, no, she, she, she's been on the show. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, man. I would hope she were to <laughs> something. Yo, if you take, if you take Nina on a date, take her to Tacoology. I, get, I just what give you a huge hint. You know, is that there a good go. place? All right. Place. Good spot. All right. You want to go after this? Nah. Okay. Nah, it's close. It's close. It's close. <laughs> what taco? Oh, <laughs> that place. I mean, overrated. I like it, opinion. man. It's, it's pretty dope. Yeah, it's overrated. Just tacos. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about you? What was the question again? <laughs> no, I got you. <laughs> so basically, stupid. the question is, <laughs> what should a guy talk about? On first, like, for example, what did your guy talk to you about on for your first date? Honestly, I'm gonna add to what you said. Mm. I'm really bad at first dates as a person because I have a very standoffish personality when you first meet me. Is but it he, called the resting bee face? Yes, I'm the queen of that. <laughs> but he broke the barrier because our first official date Physically? was no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Our first official date was four hours on Facetime. Mm. Like we had that's too long though. No, but fuck? it just kept going on for Clearly like that long. It worked. Like it wasn't like but, intentional, but were you drinking? How you know that's a yes. date? Yes. Okay. How do we? I Listen, don't, that's what he told me. Locks, he was remember? like. Because he kept insisting, I want to, like, see you, hang out, meet you and stuff. And I was like, I just got out of something. I was like, mm, all over the place. I was like, I didn't know what I want to do. Damn. And then, like, he called. He was like, okay, so this is our virtual date. We had drinks. We talked. We vibed about everything before we knew it. Like four, yeah, FaceTiming. And before, before I knew it, four hours had passed. I was like, oh, wow. That worked. And, like, the... The next day was like the second day. I was like, you know what? I'm ready. We can go out because I can. I see where our energies are and stuff like that. Did y'all smash on this this second date? Technically, first. Hell person? yeah, we of did. Course did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 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 He's your boyfriend. So, yeah, he's my boyfriend. So so so. Oh my god, I'll, there's hope. I smashed on the this, first right? date with mine. There's props to you. There's uh two lanes here that you can go down, and uh, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty um long four hours is pretty long but he kept you engaged obviously you were engaged as well and you liked it however for most guys if they go for four hours talking to a girl and they spill all the beans she can be like okay yeah. i don't know anything about this guy why am i going to date with this guy versus the guy that she has some interest in she's curious about there's some mystery based on call for maybe like 15 20 minutes maybe 30 minutes to max they talk for a little bit and then i'm out yo you know what i gotta get back to work uh, lovely talking to you can't wait to see you tomorrow on this day you're gonna be like, damn, that was a nice quick uh, face on call. He's charming. I want to know more more about him. So on a date, I can see more. Honestly, I've done that, and for me at least, yeah. that's not a thing. Cause I don't know. I feel like mm-hmm. I have to Merch. break a barrier. Yeah, the physical the, barrier. Yeah. Cause physical. see, uh, yeah. okay, so you're a little bit older, right? <laughs> yeah. So you've seen a lot of things. You've been through a lot of things. But mm-hmm. I would say younger girls kind of like I get are that. That's yeah, probably true. But yeah. you're more, you're more mature. So you, you know what? Let's cut the bullshit. What you what are you really on? Exactly. So I, I get it. Exactly. Exactly. What say you? Oh uh, no, no, I'm, I'm just listening. Yeah. So okay, but I'll say this though. I for our told... FaceTime call, don't do that, yeah. though, guys. God damn. Uh-huh. No, but I mean, if it's natural <laughs> yeah. and like that's like it wasn't like time. I also think you can't. I know you kind of try to generalize everything, but I think it is a case by case basis that exactly. you have to like take that into consideration exactly. as well. Yeah. Babe, remember we're talking to the general masses here, I know. so we can't so... be very specific because yeah. if you are, then all people miss out on the information and it's not that's as true. accurate. But that yeah. being said, on a balance of probabilities, yeah. you never want to be spending four hours on a FaceTime call with with a girl because, like I've always said, if you leave a woman to her own devices, she's gonna just use you for attention and time. Yeah. So, like, fortunately, that you were you out. went out with him, but I can't tell you how many guys do that shit and, and like sp- talk with, with a girl for hours and all this extra shit, and she never meets up with him in person. Yo, because she's getting what she wants. She's getting that <laughs> attention and validation. Why the fuck is she gonna meet up with you? Yo, I've your seen, attention isn't scarce. She don't respect it. I've seen girls at like because our boy has like a house party right uh, down in um, Miami Beach, and then we a bunch of girls that are just chilling, right? Girls on Facetime with a dude for like maybe like a, a whole hour, right? Just talking to him. Next minute, she's stupid on some some dude's dick at the party. Yeah, it's like yeah, he's young. wasted an hour when she's on someone else's dick. Like it's like yo, like. You don't want to waste your time. Yeah, so. he uh, warmed her up, uh, you know, emotionally. <laughs> emotionally you know, got, got her ready and then bam. Her intimately like, connected. It's like, but I'll keep it simple. Like, all right, I'll go around the table real quick. Let's say you met a guy, right? And Ten minutes later, y- y'all are having sex, mm-hmm. right? What's the likelihood that he'll call you back? 
that's probably not going to be a no. Zero. Yeah. Mm -mm. Highly unlikely. Okay, that's exactly what it's yeah. like if a guy spends hours on the phone talking to you. What's the likelihood that she'll meet up with you and want to actually fuck? It's a fair, it, it, it's it, it, it could fuck you up. Like, there, is there that chance that she it, you'll build rapport and she'll want to meet up with you? Absolutely. Say you have to build rapport. Absolutely. But is there a good likelihood as well that she'll be like, man, this guy's kind of a sucker. Like, he sat there and talked with me for all these hours and, like, he just gave me this attention. Like, this guy's probably, he's not, he ain't about it. He ain't that cool. So it's the same exact thing. Like, a woman that freely gives her her sex up quickly, she might not get a call back. A man that freely gives up his attention quickly, Time. he might not necessarily get a date and or sexual attention from that girl back. So it's it's both. It's it's a it's a delicate dance between the two genders to like reserve their commodity, right? Correct. Men, their attention, women, their sex against the other for some kind of compliance. It just so happens that <laughs> girls be winning ninety nine percent of the time. They began free dates, free attention, mm -hmm. free bags, all this shit, you know. And guys rarely win. So. Yo, yeah. That three hour four call we used to do it in high school. Not yes. no more. The grown oh, men now. Yeah. Like, so we tell guys in general, <laughs> like don't don't sit there and spend a lot of time with a girl like up front, man, because women will suck your attention dry if you let them. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Just, but and the like, man, why, why the fuck am I gonna spend four hours talking to you on FaceTime? Like that's a long ass time. I know if you're an if introvert, you're, that works. I don't like meeting new people. Like I I'm just so super she, he awkward. just built yeah. rapport with her, and building rapport is the number one thing. Exactly, you should teach him body body language like courses and stuff for first days because that that can help a lot. Just to see like what she's doing, and you can you can mirror her. Wear a button up. Everything. <laughs> wear a button up. Yeah, wear a button up. I don't like okay. guys in t-shirts. But that okay. <laughs> that is not even to do with, <laughs> with body language, but okay. Okay. Oh, uh, communication is like eighty was her. eighty percent of the game. So apparently, uh, button ups are the way to go. <laughs> they are. They are so attractive. And make sure that you smell good. That you have a fresh haircut. Your your beard is uh, freshly trimmed. And wear a button up. So there you the, go. The bare minimum. Basically. The bare minimum. The bare minimum. Okay. What about you? What should a guy say? Or talk about on the first date with you. Okay, I know you were saying smash your date. Um, first smashing. I mean, me personally, I no, don't. I want the truth because I don't want to be used for sex. To be honest with you, I don't. So you can write it. them off quickly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. it, it proves my point earlier. But it does prove. Uh, yes, my but yeah. I don't want to be used for sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You want you want to reserve the right to be able to make a decision quickly about what his intentions. I don't are. mind being used for sex. I mean, as long as it's clear. I've, I've been there and I've done that, and that's just not why. <laughs> You're the one of the rare ones. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, fuck it. Ninety nine percent of girls are not going to be okay with. Because I'm, I'm using I'm... them for sex too. I want to get my O. Yeah. All eleven of them. When I'm on a date, I wish I was like that. I'm. I don't know why. I'm very. I'm very emotional. No. When so I'm on I. a date, I first I'm think like, oh, coach. this guy wants to smash. That's my only thought. I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm going to marry him. Like, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Her line of thinking is how most women it operate. It is true. You're correct. They're like, like, you could say that like, yeah, well, I'm going to use him for sex too. That's the, that's the best way to look at it. I always say it it sex is. is just a handshake. You know, it's equal value exchange. It is. No, if we're going to break it down, let's it boil really down is. what sex actually is. It is a equal value exchange. But most women, as you're saying right now, Treat it as a value load exchange. They want something in exchange. I want emotional, emotional attachment. Intimacy. I want time. I want uh, resources. I want uh, validation. I want a bunch of things in exchange for my sexual access. I don't want to feel used because women don't look at sex as an equal value exchange, which is your line of thinking is how 90 That's plus correct. percent of women I'm, believe I'm feel about rare. sex. You know what I'm saying? I, You're an, uh, I'm an exception. I'm a sex coach. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll go ahead and continue on. Um, I, so not wrong with your I, Yeah, thing, no, no. Right, right. I, I feel like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think all of that though like for me it's not like what are you gonna give me afterwards it's more of like a i don't know like it's you want to know it's not gonna it's be just more sex. intimate for me it's yeah. just more special um and i Where's was just my gonna point, say but okay I, I, I guess <laughs> my point i, I guess um, you just want to disagree with me as usual <laughs> shut up <laughs> um no Oof. but but for for dating though like I think I like knowing like who you are. I don't mind the four hour conversation. I think it depends on who the person is and if you click with them or not. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. people are whack. Some people are not that attractive. Some people just don't That's have it. substance, you know? And another thing, I think the older you get, the more bullshit you've been through, the more you want to just be like, okay, who are you? And what are you doing here? And why exactly. are you the way yeah, you are? Why are exactly. you single? Mm -hmm. Like, I want to hear it all. Why the fuck not? Let's just get down and dirty. Let's talk about it all. That's so, true. question. That's Translation: true. She wants more information on you so that she can make the best 
I mean, <laughs> just qualify just qualify you. Just qualify just qualify you. Um, of a hundred percent, I don't want to be with somebody I don't like. So, which is why guys can't be honest. <laughs> yeah. So, with, right. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, clearly, y'all have to lie to be liked. Oh shoot. That's well, whack as hell. Well, I, I mean, wanna, well, sucks, well but okay. the, the truth is, is that. The only reason men even deal with women is to get sex. They're to get sex. Yeah. They well, don't actually, care about anything There's else. a game being played, yeah, and there's clearly. two parties. Mm -hmm. And let's be real here. Girls always have the advantage. So all we're doing is we're playing the game to have an equal footing, an equal footing. Equal. That's pretty much what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, I, so mean I, I think one of the biggest mistakes women make is they think that... <laughs> <laughs> guys like them like the guys like sit there and talk to them because of my presence because me and i'm special it's personality. Like, <laughs> my personality it's like no here's a cold hard truth every single man that has given you time and or attention wants, wants to, to have fuck sex you, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wants to yeah. fuck you. the only reason men tolerate women is for sexual access period because okay. if you really look at it right let, let's like break this down real fast right when a guy deals with a woman he's got to bring inherent value he's got to be tall taller than her make money he's got to be impressive, charming, etc. He's got to bring a lot of things to the table, right? And these things that he has to bring to the table aren't necessarily easily easy to acquire. Getting in shape, money, confidence, it takes time. So if a guy has to bring all these things to the table, you really think he's going to bring all these things to the table to someone just so they could sit there and be like, oh yeah, impress me, nigga. That's how a lot of girls operate like when they're on the date, like impress me. You, you think he's really there for you? No, he's there to get sex. It's just that mm -hmm. he has to conceal it, <laughs> right? To, you know, dress it up a little bit. Hey, what do you do for work? Oh, you want to go to the fair? Oh, you want to go <laughs> yeah, yeah, play some Mortal Kombat at the arcade? Oh you know what I'm saying? Oh, let's do a four-hour face off. Oh, you're a boss, like, you're a boss babe? I yeah, love boss babe. This is, this is sure, awesome. Yeah, yeah they but don't like, care. the reality is men only deal with and or tolerate and or talk to women for sexual access to first. And then, you know, your personality and everything else like that can, can come after. But there's mm -hmm. always some kind of sexual end game. You know what I'm saying? And I have my theory on this. I've talked about this with the with the you know homosexual community, bro. That's why I call gay dudes happy, bro. Gay means happy because mm -hmm. they don't deal with chicks, man. <laughs> like they have more money. <laughs> they, their dates are go go Dutch. You know what I'm saying? You look at all the metropolitan areas that have the highest incomes. They're gay dominated. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, they, they just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? They be having a good time. And you know it is what it is. I mean, me and Fresh, you know, we we ain't on that team. But hey, I see I see how they operate, bro. You look at <laughs> San Francisco, Austin, Texas, New York City. Even Miami here, Brickell, mm -hmm. South Beach, et cetera. South Beach, you look at areas that have a lot of money, also has a, gay, a high, high gay, gay population. population. Me as a real estate investor, if gay people start moving in, I'm happy because I know that the <laughs> the the, um, uh, the property uh, value is going to increase. Uh, they, they bring up the real estate market. Correction. Happy equals gay. There you go. Technically, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, no, I like if they if they move in, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Look at Wynwood. Gentrification. Why? A lot of times, you know, Gay men move in, boom, and the property value goes up. So they're they're great tenants. They're great uh, people to have in the community because they they increase the property value. So because of the exponential income, but a big reason why, yo, I, someone needs to do a study on this. I guarantee you, if you compared like the median income salary of like a, a gay guy and a and a heterosexual guy, I, I would be willing to bet the gay guy has a higher net worth. I'd be willing to bet. Probably. Mm. I, I think I honestly think so. They they would just have a higher net worth. And that's not to insult women or anything like that, but it's like it's amazing how productive or how much money you can make when like you just get like your sexual urges out the way. Cause it's easy. They just go on grinder, do their thing, done. But a guy, <laughs> right? Heterosexual guy. Yeah, I know it's it's really easy for them. <laughs> but a heterosexual guy has got to go on Tinder, get curved a million times. You know what I'm saying? Find a girl. Okay, so he finally matches. She's like, Oh, by the way, here's my OnlyFans. Oh fuck, damn. Then he's got, you know, then he goes out to the bar. Talks to like a hundred girls, get re rejected by like ninety seven of them. Get away them. from me, you. Uh -huh. You know, gets a date with one eventually. She shows up on a date. Oh, you know, I, you know, I didn't really like you like that. We can just be friends. You know, what I'm like it's tough. It's tough for, for for regular guys. So all I'm saying is that if men go through all this BS and they're on a date with you, it's always to have sex. That's true. That's the bottom line because it's a lot of work. They're not gonna do all this shit. To get to know you or your presence or your energy, as girls like to say. And I know that sounds fucked up. I don't mean to be an asshole, ladies, but it's the truth, man. They want to get laid. Even the guys that you friend zone, you see, you even you know you could probably think of a few guys <laughs> in your friend zone right now that if you call them, hey, I'm horny, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah, but wait for this. I take I took you to five fairs. I'm trying to smash. <laughs> five fairs. Keep talking about fairs. Wait, five years. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it's love affair. The biggest be at the cut waiting, bro. That's so, true. That's that's the answers the question that men and women just can't be friends. Yeah, really? I, I genuinely I, don't think I so. I agree. A lot of people say, oh, yeah, they can. And I'm not a... No. 
because men are always trying to fuck. That's just true. Even if they pretend to be your friend and they listen to all your shit about other guys, in the end, they want to fuck, period. And then you have it's a to- style of game. It is. And you have to reverse the roles. Like if you were dating a girl, seriously, in a monogamous relationship, would you want her to just hang out with her guy friend and go out to eat dinner? Don't date her. Okay, but if we smash, I want one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wear your boxers and t shirt. Oh, I, I'll fucking yeah. steal all your t-shirts. I do that all the time to my guy. Yeah. All his boxers yeah. and t-shirts. Wear his boxers and t-shirts. All right, t-shirts. All right well, that, super chats. Well, that's all right. a cool that was, I know. But, um, but yeah, in general, like, oh, so, but did you finish your point? Uh, you were saying, we're, we're discussing how, uh, you know, you want to be able to reserve the right to quickly disqualify guys if they don't, like, like you for you. Yeah, I mean, I do want to have sex, too, just with the person that I like. <laughs> no, with the person Translation, the guy like. that invests to yeah. some degree in me that I know has a stake in me. That isn't gonna have sex with me and run away. Sure. Yeah. Is that fair enough to say? Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I, I think a big reason why, you know, women want to get to know a guy so much and it's so important to like get these investments is because you know the more he invests, the less likely he's gonna just hit it and run. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Because yeah. it's her yeah. as well. Like I said, I don't know. He's yeah. Exactly. Okay, but what if I only have sex with my boyfriends? <laughs> then what? what? I don't I, I mean What's the question? What? I don't get that. I don't I think understand. That's what I would only have sex with a boyfriend. But they lie. Okay. No, like he has to be my boyfriend for me to he have lies. sex. Yeah, yeah, there's psychos that will pretend exactly to the very, very end. Exactly. Like yeah. they'll lie. Yeah. They'll and then be like, oh my god, I'm that's so sorry. The thing with guys. It's not working out. They'll feed you, <laughs> they'll feed you the illusion they think you want yeah. just so they can get sex in return. Yeah, yeah of course. They'll sell you the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in your eyes, Nina knows that. Can you <laughs> can you stop? You're telling, our, you're telling our secrets Bro, out there, man. She needs she to learn. She needs to learn. She's, she's all bright eyed and bushy tailed. Exactly. We got Nina right. knows. She she knows. She just no. playing. personally, she knows. I'm 25. Okay. I think withholding sex for three months not gonna work. That doesn't no. work. You just that's against a guy. Ooh, that's, that's rare. That, yeah, that might work, is your name like, Steve Harvey? No, because <laughs> this is for that's you're talking. Advice. You're talking about religious, like you know, like Christian or okay. highly religious that those practices work. But this I think is not working. That if the, the guy world. can still talk to you and be interested in you for the He's, next three months and you haven't given it up yet yeah but nina you're wearing three like no months? clothes yeah and he's <laughs> definitely like, smashing it's, 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 other it's, girls while yeah, he's talking it'll be hard to exactly. be next to you with no clothes on Would and you you're like if he's talking smashing other girls while he's waiting are you i don't care no so now what's okay. the point what do you mean why not just let him smash he's you he's not really yeah. waiting mm -hmm. yeah he's in, not in that waiting. case he's not really yeah. waiting because to smash you because he's already yeah, smashing he's not somebody waiting. at all because i think if he waits to have sex with you then he's not gonna value he you, you more he's gonna think you know. that you're wasting his time he's yeah. just gonna be like oh, okay three <laughs> and months when he smashes you uh fuck this shit hold on hold on hold on hold on nina's not wrong in her assessment like the guy will value her more but here's more. the thing you're getting it to cast 22 where you're gonna make him wait which is fine you can make him wait but you just got to be content with the p potential outcome of that. And the potential outcome is a lot of guys aren't going to wait. And then the other <laughs> catch 22 is that as the higher status, the guy, the more attractive he is, the less likely he's going to wait. So in other words, the guy that will sit there and wait the three months is a guy that you probably won't even like like that in the way anyway, mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. Or you can the guy that you really do too. like is probably going to quickly be like, fuck this shit and leave. Three months. So it kind of sucks. But, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. smashing guys is a losing game. Or if he sleeps with you after three Get months and it's just like, that's well, what I'm saying. Just like, like, well, that wasn't worth the wait. No offense. Yeah. Nina, that's real. No offense. You don't do, you know, that thing. So that nigga not staying. I do. What thing? You, you do what it now? Thing? What uh -huh. thing? Oh, so now you do it. He does. Yeah. She does. Oh, jobs, guys, well. she does. <laughs> oh. For people that aren't OG watchers. So if I have to do that for three months, it's okay. But I'm not. If, if I have to do it, yo, you should you want to suck dick, man. Well, yeah. You might as well just fuck him if you're gonna be getting exactly. him. You got, yeah. you got a sex coach here. You should want it. There's. You got to get on the dick and put it in your mouth every day. Come on. Amen. Like, let's Yo, do I this. Like her, if it's your let's Once do this day, already. Yeah, but I, I see Nina's strategy too. Nina's strategy. She, Nina doesn't want to add bodies, which I completely understand, and that's fine. I'm just saying, because I already know what kind of guy you're probably going to want. He might not necessarily wait for you. R risk first reward. Is, is, all, is all it comes down to. And then the OnlyFans ain't going to help you either. I'll be honest. Yeah. No, it's not. If you want to get married, get off Only. Can I have my five cat food? <laughs> yeah, you can. We we uh, I could get you the big cat food bag. It's okay. I'll give it to you on your way out. Uh, we got, uh, uh, all right. We'll read these chats real fast. Uh, good discussion though. This is a higher IQ panel, which is good. 
Um, <laughs> okay, because yesterday was tough, man. Hey, I y'all. was man. Yesterday was I lost hair follicles yesterday. <laughs> uh, Papa Big Flame, twenty bucks. Love the content. Keep it up. Thank you so much. We got um, five bucks from Yerson. Myron, the 22 Donovan is coming to Miami. How can I meet you guys? I want to take a pick with you guys. This is my la- my first time asking this. Uh, yeah, I mean, just um, hit up uh, Donovan on, on IG or me, one of, one of us too. But yeah, Donovan is going to be here uh, next week, guys. And we got a party Saturday. Um, actually, there's a – oh, I meant to mean, mean, uh, I'll do it after this. What? Oh, the announcement? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and then five bucks from uh, Sebastian. Lose the tattoos and lower your standard for an average dude. <laughs> Time is not on your side, and your best chance is a Hail Mary play before the wall hits. Okay. Sebastian, who are you talking to? I think that's to me. Oh, is he talking to you? I'm assuming. Lose the tattoos and lower your standards. Why I don't know how you, how could you lose the tattoos. How do you lose I, 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 if, <laughs> Laser surgery. <laughs> I, I just don't understand. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 27. Time's over. Uh, oh, yeah, to be frank talking. with you, I, I'll fucking die alone if I have to. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's in Chewy, guys. <laughs> oh, uh, why? Why? Uh, why'd you? Um, what happened with you and your ex before? Why'd y'all break up? Oh man. Um, oh wow. Oh, I oh. can't say it. I'm, I can't I'm wait sorry. for this one. I, I can't. No, I can't say it. <laughs> you can start crying. Uh, can't if, you, say it? if you know, you know, because a lot of people know him. If you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. And that's it. That's all that matters. Um, I don't I'm know. way better off. And I'm. Is he like ecstatic. famous or something? Eh, not really. Oh, but, okay. You're saying it but, like he's famous. Yeah. If you know I him, you know he's, him. He's, I'm a like, little, he's a little popular. Um, um, Miami is very small. I'm First, from California, you know? so I don't know. I want to know. If, if you give me like a code name. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who he is. Um, but just I'm, I'm better sure off. somebody would tell me. I deserve better. White BC. Anybody deserves better. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Weren't y'all in a relationship for a minute, though? Three years. God damn. Whoa. Damn. And you broke up with him? Damn. Damn. Mm. Okay. Three okay. years and you threw it all away? <laughs> and I Girl. threw it all over again. Yeah. Exactly. I threw it away. Listen, listen. I threw away a 10 year relationship. A 10 year relationship? You, a relationship? you cannot relationship. stay with a man oh, if, because you got a long time with yeah. them. Yeah. Time doesn't mean shit. Time doesn't the mean is shit. Not worth it. I, I disagree. If with you're not happy. A lot of them. If you're not happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> why'd you say for three years then? Because um, Stockholm syndrome is a real thing. Um, brainwashing is <laughs> a real thing. Um, oh. Not loving yourself is a real thing. Insecurities are a real he, thing. He, he brainwashed. Or? At least you're being honest. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yo, like many many things. I was stupid as hell to be there for that long. We've all. Been I there. gave too many chances. Um, I'm very. I'm too understanding. Too patient. Too naive. So okay. many things. So question. Mm-hmm. Name one thing he did wrong in the relationship and one thing you did wrong in the relationship. Yeah, this is good. One thing he did wrong in the relationship. Immediately um, to him. Does it have to be? <laughs> does it have to be like the biggest thing, or could it be anything? anything? I mean, what was like what the the? Uh, I would say one of the like okay, main deciding um, factors. Not of why trusting me. One. Okay. And why did he not trust you? Because he couldn't be trusted. Mm. Uh, it, there's a there's a Spanish saying that says, uh, and I'll translate it. Um. El ladrón juzga por su condición. It means the robber judges by his own condition. And basically, it's like you, if people that are paranoid, insecure, jealous, or accusing you of things, they are guilty of doing those things. Projection. Or they know what they're capable of doing, the bad they're capable of doing, Mm -hmm. and they assume that's what's going to be done to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, they believe in karma. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. That's an interesting point. So right. so he projected on you that he thought that you were cheating. Yeah, yes. because he was from the get go. Uh, from what, the get go, he was super insecure. What, what made him? Annoyed. What made him think that though? Like, did you go to clubs or something? Like, what what sparked that that thinking process from him? I mean, he had to have some kind of foundation <laughs> to think that. How'd you meet him? To be honest with you, like it's not even worth talking about. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, yeah. See, right. that's probably um, some skeptical. No, some, uh, some I mean, certain... uh, I can give you like a basic scenario where for me it was my first red flag, and I should have booked it um i'm a tattoo artist i had a client i finished around eight o'clock at night and he I, it was downtown miami if you guys know downtown miami is a little sketchy yeah sketchy. it is very yeah. sketchy yes. it is. so i was the one closing the shop that night and this person which i already knew um stayed behind with me while i cleaned up while i wrapped up while i closed the shop he was just like yo i'm gonna walk you to your car cool as i'm cleaning this person is calling me and i'm not answering because i'm cleaning the floor literally and and so i didn't know this guy was like this at all i didn't realize how freaking 
crazy. Like, it's crazy. Um, so he called me like three times. I didn't answer. Finally, I'm closing the gate. I'm like, hey, babe, I'm so sorry. I was closing up shop. Um, I'm wrapping up now. I'm with my client. He's going to walk me to a car. He's like, oh, yeah, I see you. I'm like, what do you mean mm-hmm. you see me? <laughs> so apparently, I don't know. He said he was joking, but apparently he had seen me. Like he went to where I was at, watched me, whatever. And then he was like, oh, why is he still there with you? I'm like, because I working in downtown and he's going to walk me to my car. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Don't come over tonight. I'm like, okay. My dumbass, first red flag, first issue. I'm like, wait, I'm sorry. I'm not doing anything wrong. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Okay. And for me, I wasn't doing anything wrong. And also, he said something about, oh, how would you like it if I walked a girl to her car? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Please walk your friends to their cars, especially like, late at night. Late Be a gentleman. Night downtown. Make what sure the they're fuck? safe to their car. Yeah. You know? Okay. So, you know, that was, yeah, I didn't do anything wrong. No. Okay. I mean, normally when a guy has like uh, issues like that, you might have conducted some behavior in the past that made him be a little bit less predisposed to trust you. But that's fine. That's a whole other thing. So what did you do wrong I in the relationship? I didn't do anything to him. So you never did and, anything and wrong never, in the relationship? I'm, um, I never did anything to him up until that point. And even after, I've never cheated. I was never disloyal. I, what the issue is that I... Because of what I do, <laughs> I talk to a lot of people and people talk to me. Mm-hmm. And I now I don't do it so often, but people send me messages and whether it's weird, whether it's been obviously there's a certain line, but people would ask me questions and sometimes I'd answer questions that were like kind of stupid or I shouldn't answer. But it was on a like me being like, yeah, sure. Um, no, I wouldn't do a new shoot or, uh, you know, things like that. Nothing weird. But for him, it was like. Why are you answering all these losers? Don't fucking talk to these guys. Don't waste your breath. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Now, what did, what, did, what, what, did, what did you do wrong now? Um, I mean, I just feel like it's more Merch. of like just being there, just letting things happen, just not standing up for myself, not not sticking up to my boundaries. That's where I went wrong in the relationship. No, no, no. What did, what did you do wrong <laughs> that contributed to the relationship failing? I don't know. I mean, I don't. You did nothing wrong. I don't you weren't know. annoying to him. Rude disrespectful when i tell you i am the most understanding person (laughs) i mean it like that's why i said i'm stupid because i put up with too much and i was too patient and i i I let a lot of things slide like it's that's what i did wrong so hold on i'm I'm curious um how did you and him meet like and how long did it take for you to have sex um it took like six months for him to actually like get me to go out with him took a while all right so she did nothing wrong guys um okay we will yeah. continue on with the show <laughs> i mean i don't know what you want me to say like oh, i have conversations with people i talk to people i it's really listen i will tell you this um <laughs> like i said there's a lot of toxic shit involved into it and i don't think unless you know the person I don't think you'd understand. Everybody's different. And and I'm not saying I'm perfect because I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not like in his eyes. I'm not a Christian girl. I'm not flawless. I have a history. You know what I mean? And and that's it. That's what I did wrong was be myself. Be stuffy. Boom. I have had a past life. I have like, um, oh, and I'm not, and I don't hide this from, by the way, I have been uh, depressed and suicidal. I used to do drugs when I was younger. I have had sex with people like that's, that's a part of my life and my past. So that's what I did wrong was have a past. Mm. Basically. That's okay. what it is. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Okay. What you, right. said, what you said you earlier, like, don't tell guys like who Where's you've had sex with or how many people have sex with, like yeah. things like that. Like, yeah, like I have a past and I'm honest about who I am yeah. and not everybody can handle that. So your past yeah. just, to haunt you. Not, yeah. it, not even because I don't have to hide my past. Like I, just, I was, I was honest about who I was and I not just everybody think, can handle that. I just think, and I, I like you a lot and I want to come get tattooed tomorrow oh, by you. <laughs> my boo. But um, I just think that you can't, like women, we, we do not get this positive side in the relationship. We are mm-hmm. judged. We're just judged. Mm-hmm. We're judged for, for, sure. for how many people we fucked. And so if you want to be taken seriously, I have a past too. I haven't shared it on the show and I don't want to, but if you want to look at myself, you'll find it. Um, and I knew that. 
So going into this, I like this guy and I wanted, I knew he was 15 years younger than me because my boyfriend's 25 and I wanted to seal the deal. So I didn't bring up any of that stuff. I, I led with my best foot forward when he called me out on my shit and was like, why the fuck would I drive an hour and a half to see you just for sex? And I, no one had ever stood up to me like that before. And I was like, who the fuck is this 25 year old <laughs> saying that? But you know what? It actually works yeah. because it made me value him more. And then I stepped up my game and I started adding value to his life mm -hmm. and now we're together but with that being said you just can't you just it's not a fair world but you can't be honest about your past and stuff like that you shouldn't and even when you're together okay. like we still have never talked i've never i've already did my mind how many girls he's been with but we've never openly discussed it because you say they say you should share everything no you shouldn't you should no. share enough to create intimacy rapport but you should not overshare because it will fuck you in the i'm end. gonna die on this hill and i said it earlier i'd rather die alone then not be myself and and, and uh, i don't want to be with anybody that's not okay with that and mm -hmm. i i get that so and it's good. a great great standard to have. it's <laughs> a good up. standard to i have. already did it i did it for three years mm -hmm. i and no i refuse i seriously i'm okay i have my music i will die for my music i will die for my art because that's what i want to do and if you're down for the ride you're with it and if you're not you're not okay. and i'm good with that yeah sure. there we go good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool i mean <laughs> sheesh yeah, uh, and you can you can laugh about it. No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 I'm not laughing about it. I'm, you I'm, can put I'm, another hat. Then what are you no, at? <laughs> no, because she's being honest about that. But no, my thing is like, it's easy to say that now when you're 27 and you're yeah. still attractive and you got your youth with you and you can say, well, "Fuck everybody, I'm gonna do what I want to do. I got my music and everything else like that." But when we you're know. 40, like me, yeah, your mindset is <laughs> gonna change. Like, you know, you like, know what it is. Gotta um, be realistic. A big predicator on 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 female happiness is is children and a family it and is. a significant other so for you to mm. write off something I, here's the thing there's women out there that are anomalies that like they could be single and be totally content with being single but that's a minority of women most women derive their fulfillment from children and a family it is what it is women are uh social creatures you know what i'm saying women Nurturing. tend to be more interesting interested in people men tend to be more interested in things so women don't really cope well with being lonely and, uh, you know, and the thing is, is that as you get older and older, your negotiating power to get a man that you want goes down and down. So, you, you I mean, here, that's fantastic. You want to do your music and everything else like that. All I'm saying is that that's a risky bet because you're betting your, your long term happiness on something that doesn't have a high likelihood of fulfilling you as a woman. For a man, that might fulfill him because, man, we have a way longer time span to get a girl than you guys to get a guy. But. Women don't derive the same pleasure from their personal successes like men do. And if you don't believe me, like, I can't tell you how many it's career true. women I know, I... high earning, as soon as they have a child, fuck this shit. They're going to focus on their kid. They don't care about making money. Mm -hmm. But a man, however, has a kid. Damn, I'm going to work more hours because I got to provide for my child. You know what I'm saying? Men are okay with being away from their children to earn more money for their child. But women, as they earn <laughs> as as they earn money and they have a kid, they're like, nah, fuck that shit. They'll cut the hours back to be with the kid. So, I mean, you, um, you I, I want, agree but. with you 100%. 100%. Um, I think for me, it's different because how do I explain this to you without getting too, it's your personal okay. decision. I'm just no, saying you're I, taking a I, huge I, I think, risk. I think for you to understand me a little better is the fact that, um, I, I've been suicidal. Like for me to be alive. We'll just say self deletion so we don't get fucked yeah. up on yes. YouTube. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah. You've been self deletion. So, self deletion. So for me to be alive is enough. Mm. Enough. straight up mm -hmm. like that's it right cool, cool. i'm yeah. grateful that's for that yeah. <laughs> yes yeah. <laughs> like that's it yeah uh and we're glad that you're alive by the way thank yeah. you yeah, yeah, yeah. me too yeah but and here's too. the thing man I, i'm so, I'm saying hey a being alive is great but why not thrive <laughs> for sure you know what uh, i'm saying and that's that's like, what i'm doing um and that's why i'm saying like for me like there's so much more to life than like many many things that the average people the want you know what i mean but, so you kind of like when you almost die you kind of see things differently. But the number one thing people want, the study is like psychology study. It's not tantra. It's nothing. The number one thing people crave in men and women, both women more so, is human connection. For intimacy. sure. Mm -hmm. I, I love like, it. That is what we're all here for. I just I just don't want fake human connection. Okay. I won't, that's all. We that's got all you. I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, one other thing I want to say as well is uh, as far as like, Oh, damn it. I lost my train of thought. All right. Let me read these super chats. It's going <laughs> to come back to me. Cyber TV. Uh, Cyber TV. Question for Myron Fresh. What is a good annual salary you think it would take to live in Miami? Uh, I mean, to, to be okay, bro, you want to earn at least six figures, bro, to be honest with you. 
Um, because because cost of living here is going up thanks to these New Yorkers. If you live, I would say mid Miami, like Miramar, Pines, anywhere up there, kind of like that area, you can live for like 30, 50 K. You don't need mm -hmm. a lot. Just make sure you're not partying every night, then you'll be in trouble. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to be like in the city, you want to be in Brickle, you want to be in Midtown, you want to be in one of these areas that's popping South Beach, you're going to want to earn six figures a year, bro, so that you can like not have to worry about shit like that. It depends on your spending habits, too. Uh, Randy Constance, you got to finesse the game. Anywhere where you can vibe and talk is always a good first date. I smashed walking and talking at the boardwalk, and I smashed talking to a broad, taking a broad to top, top golf. Communicate is key. All right. There you go. Nathan Woodward. To the chick next to Fresh, that shirt unbuttoned, the, the shirt button is fighting for dear life. <laughs> I, okay. you, I was I like, should I didn't do it? Because okay. I was like, <laughs> okay. Uh, Sinister Seed, shout out my Myron, Fresh, Aaron, and Mo. When I show my friends the pod, they're hooked after one money Monday pod. Lovely latest tonight. It's 6 a.m. here, so I got to work out. I'm going to be back in an hour, maybe play pickup game. Maybe they'll succeed. Okay. And that's uh, I ILS. I'm trying to think what country that is. I don't know. I'll, figure, I'll, uh, some, I'll look it up after. All right. Uh, Stephen Baker. Chris, can you Google Lady Dimit Dimitri and put her up on the screen and tell me who she resembles? Oh, yeah. From, uh, uh, I, I know what, I, what about it. Uh, okay. Yeah. From, Lenzo uh, POV. Maybe. Oh, you want to do it or not? Who is it? Lenzo POV, 10 bucks. Chris, uh, nope. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Lenzo POV, five bucks. Uh, Chris is Raccoon, <laughs> fresh as Captain Ginyu. <laughs> That's funny. All right. And then uh, what, what do we got here? We got uh, Sela Aminu. Uh, yo, Marin, thanks for the game. I'm a junior software developer, about 6'3", and wear suits all the time. They be like you, sound formal, fit, and other BS. They be like my BF when I'm trying to smash. Okay? Okay. All right, and then uh, Crypto Cat. Nina, three months. You're not a pineapple. You're a banana. <laughs> what? You're bananas. All right. Uh, three Diglets. Hey, big head. <laughs> this guy. Uh, Sinclair Crypto. Hello, I don't trust this bad neighborhood and stealing my car, so that must mean I'm a car thief myself. LMA, LMAO. Fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, Andrew Cardenas, Tenars. Of course, you never did anything. Come on, Myron. <laughs> and then uh, Sinclair Crypto, girl with the tattoo opening up a lids at her local mall. <laughs> and then uh, anything else? Uh, we're good to go. All right, cool. Um, cool. All right. Cool, cool. <laughs> do we have video? Uh, not anymore. Oh, because uh, all right, yeah. So um, <laughs> okay. So we'll do this because we got a sex coach here, man. So why the <laughs> fuck not? So could you kind of you know let's go on the panel on i want to say a first interaction in the bedroom what does a girl really want from a guy and give your own opinion and by one here from the sex coach at the end what a guy okay. should do to a girl in the bedroom and we'll start right here Marty, get the hats oh, ready foreplay is so important um <laughs> i love dirty talk and i love like everywhere like kiss me everywhere touch me everywhere mm -hmm. That's so important. I, I think um, caressing, like, you guys, for real, like, you literally can touch the thigh slowly, like, built up to it. That shit is amazing. For me, just build it up. I love it. So which part not to touch? What part not to touch? Yeah, I'm mean, just curious. I don't know. Like, don't stick your finger in my nose. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I so, so, so for you, just, like, touch everywhere. Definitely just, show affection, no, no. kiss everywhere. Yeah, as yeah. a hot nostril. Talk, like, definitely. Like... Can I jizz your nostril? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you, nigga, Chris, put the mic on you. I mean, put the camera on you, bro. You, you said that crazy. Like, you are weird, bro. Like, bro, like, bro, you are weird, like bro. Like a Family Guy episode when they're trying to fuck you in the ear. Where you store it, you make bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's weird, bro. All right, what about really, you? Really, nigga? I'll add on to that. Like, adore me. Mm -hmm. Like, pay attention to me. I will say this though. It doesn't matter. What you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I've been waiting to use like, that one all day. Like, I feel merch, merch. heterosexual sex versus gay sex. It's like you can put everything up front when you're gay because you mm -hmm. gotta be explicit about what you like. like yeah. You mean like, I think you you assume I'm, you're saying two women, right? No, I'm saying like, just uh, two women or two men. Like okay. you got to be specific about okay, who's taking what role? What do we want to a turn? I'm yeah, like, yeah. where's this going? Yeah. No, I'm saying <laughs> as heterosexual people, we don't say upfront what we want. But as a whole, I think a women just want to be like adored in that first interaction. What does that mean? Appreciate me, caress me, love she was on me. With what she said. Yeah, yeah, I'm agreeing with what she said. Okay, but break it down so they can understand. Okay. If, I, if I'm adoring you, what does that entail? Just touching you? No. Focus on me. Don't make it just about your nut. 
Like, this is not you just trying to come. Like, we're both supposed to, like, have an amazing experience together. Ask me what I want. Ask me what I desire. What do you want? It doesn't matter! <laughs> I think they okay. want to know like if you like when they blow in your ear or whatever. Oh yeah, uh, definitely on the neck. Like stroke my hair. Neck, yeah, neck, hair. neck. Stroke my hair. Talk to me. Like Dirty. instruct me. Yeah, like instruct me what we're about to do right now. Take the lead. Cool. Be a man. Know your role and shut your mouth because the people's champ is ready to talk. Yeah. Uh, Bye. <laughs> yeah, Nina, what do you mind? like? Uh, oh. Me. I like lap dances, so I'll give you a lap dance and then I'll get on you, like on top of you. Mm -hmm. And then I like neck touching and neck kissing to start things off. And um, the best experience that I've ever had with a guy is that he was actually genuinely interested in me having a good time. So he was mm -hmm. asking me if I was enjoying it. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. So, so he stopped and said, "Yo, you like this? You like this? <laughs> yeah, it's does this feel good?" Uh, so, question: uh, Who was the guy? <laughs> that that was a very long time ago. A very long time ago. That's why you're Never not dating him right now. Okay. You're gonna okay. answer it. Who was it? <laughs> what? It was so long ago in Boston. Oh, in Boston. Oh, in Boston. Yeah, and I've been in Miami for two years already, so it's a very long time. Ago. Okay. okay. What does that sound? That's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was you, Chris. That was you, Chris. No, it wasn't me. No, that, that no was me. That was I know Myron says that it's not important for the girl to come, but we really, Wait, really Myron like says it. That? Wait, what? Myron, I disagree. I saw this that's, coming. That's what? Him. I never heard this episode. Okay, you don't think it's important? Why you say that shit? <laughs> oh, she's yeah. you won. Honestly, Myron, yeah. that will have the girl like crazy for you. Like that will you have a girl. You triggered my trap card. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, see, I knew they were gonna try to pile in on me and everything else like that, and I, I was prepared. I was prepared. <laughs> so, the reality when it comes to a woman's, uh, you know, ejaculation is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because the reality is, is that <laughs> because yo, only one ejaculation is needed to create life. Okay, that's number one, right? So from a biological perspective, no one cares about the female nut, and it's not needed to create life. Number two, men have to bring so much to the goddamn table anyway <laughs> to get laid. So it's like now y'all want a nut too. Come God on, damn. man. Selfish. This is oh, selfish, yeah, bro. God. You want me to be taller than you? Gosh. Pay more money than you? Be attractive? <laughs> Talk to you tall? Sit there and listen to your bullshit about life? Double oh, my God. Red Lambo bullshit. truck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have a nice car. You know, you, you want all this stuff. And then you want me to also eat the box and give you a, 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 a lap dance? Fuck yes, that shit, sir. man. Like, yo, man. I've already become, so I don't care about you having to come, man. I've become already. All right? So that's how I look at it. So... Now, with that said, all jokes aside, does that mean just ignore your girl's nut? I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that it's not really that significant. Because if a guy is truly attractive, right? My thing is this. A guy shouldn't have to do all this extra shit to get you off as a woman. Right. Like, you shouldn't. If you're truly aroused and attracted to him by his presence alone, like, you're going to get off just from him being around you and fucking you. You don't, he doesn't need to do all this extra shit. Girl, he'd be... But you know, some of these girls be having dildos that are like jackhammers. <laughs> they gotta put on like weird hentai porn at the same yeah. time. Put on Fuck. some weird ass music of fucking you know Native Americans like uh <laughs> told me slap me. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? Like some weird and they, weird uh, music in the background, weird hentai shit going on. Three jackhammers. You know, you gotta contort it to the side like this, eating the box like this playing the fucking saxophone you gotta do all this weird shit to get her off like nah bro like i don't want guys doing all this extra shit to get women off my I thing is that. is that you should be able to get a girl off off of just like regular sex maybe some foreplay whatever it may be but you don't got to do all this extra shit if you got to do all this extra shit that tells you a lot about where you stand with that woman from an arousal and an attraction standpoint and that's how i look at it so like I'm not saying ignore your girl's nut. I'm saying ignore it if you got to do all that extra shit where you got to play a saxophone and be a fucking dancing monkey to get uh, her to come up. To come. Yeah, that's true. Well, I want to chime on that because at first oh, I was like pissed at you and I really liked you a lot. But then what you, after what you said, I agree. Okay, so can we not oh, call it a box? Because that's like... Well. 
It is a box. It's Can a box. we just call it a yoni? Because that's the Sanskrit word for vagina, mm -hmm. and it just sounds so much better. Sure. And nope. second of all, can we also not call it a nut? Because that is like, ugh, nut come on. Is. But other than that, I do agree with what you're saying. First, this is fresh to fit. We will not change the way we speak. Okay. Well, whatever. I tried. Yeah. So first of all, for all the ladies watching and all the guys that have ladies, you're, you're absolutely correct, Myron. It is not a guy's responsibility to make you orgasm. Let me just say that again. It is not their job to make you come or orgasm. It's That's your, your job. job. It's yeah. your job. And first of all, throw away your dildos because that is fucking up the game for everyone. A man's penis or lingam, as we say in Sanskrit, is never going to be able to vibrate and move in that way under any circumstance. So what you're doing is you're desensitizing your vagina, your yoni, by using it. If you want to use it, stick it in your ass and that's it. Um, Wait, what? But, what? Like, 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 you can put it in your ass, that's fine, but I wouldn't put silicone in my body, first of all. Second of all, um, so you do anal, Chris, 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 um, all right, stop, ahead. stop. stop. <laughs> second, second of all, what happens is they do become dependent on that kind of vibration and this crazy jackhammer stimulation that it desensitizes you so you can't orgasm with a man and there's nothing wrong with a good lingam as long as they are adequately warmed up which means that they have to have they have to be open and ready like don't just have sex with a girl like just after five minutes of foreplay it's not going to do anything for her and sometimes it doesn't always have to be about the woman but her needs should be considered also oh my god who the <laughs> hell Cash. Also, <laughs> Sorry, my hair slipped. Also, when you're okay, you should stay away from the clit because the clit is like the man's ver it's the fast food of orgasms. The clit is basically the underdeveloped head of the penis when the chromosomes split, when it's decided at birth what gender the baby is gonna be. So if you're giving a girl an, a clitoral orgasm, this is stupid. It's like a high up and high down, just like how y'all orgasm. So if you want to give her a life shattering, earth shattering orgasm, you have to go inside the yoni, which means you have to do your homework. First, y'all have to make yourselves come that way so that you can even instruct a guy to do it. You can't expect them to do it if you can't. But most women don't even know their own anatomy. Like if I pulled out anatomy, you wouldn't be able to tell me what the 11 orgasms are, even what your body looks like. And that's not their fault either. Do you know what I mean? So we have to take ownership for that. Look, you said 11 orgasms? All right. Yes, there's Look, 11 forms. It doesn't matter! <laughs> I'm a little on, 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 man. Just oh, no, man. Look, got 11 you got some points there. You got some points here. Let's tell you how, Who how won that round? Works, right? No, 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 no. Nobody won a round. Okay, okay. It's what it is. But, guys, every girl's different, right? And you got to understand their body. So, that being said, if you want to make a girl really get into you and really, like, want to see you again, I'm telling you, make her bust nuts. Lay the pipe. <laughs> I'm telling you. Orgasm, it's not a need, but if you can do it, most guys can't. She will be like, damn, this nigga's experience. I need some more. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I, and I don't want you guys to, like, misinterpret it like, you know, just go in there and make it a race. Like, 30 seconds, I'll beat you, bitch, again. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm 100 and 0. You can't beat me in this cum race. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that, like, I don't want you guys doing all this extra shit. But I've, seen, I've heard stories of guys doing ridiculous shit to try to get their girl off. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, man, don't do that shit. Because, number one, it's her job to please you sexually, bro. Like, uh, sex is a woman's duty. It's not a man's duty at all. Okay, that's number one. And then number two, hey, if you're if she if she likes you, she's gonna get aroused and she's gonna get off just on you smashing her regular shit. Maybe some of this I don't know yoni stuff. I don't know, but you don't have to do all that, man. You, you What's just, yoni, guys? If you're attractive Sanskrit, and she's aroused by you and she respects you. She's going to get off off your presence and you fucking her alone, guys. Guys, you don't need any toys. All you need these fingers right here. Correct. And I'm telling you, you learn. Every woman is different. You learn their body, what they're into, what turns them on over a period of time. And you can learn that quite easily. You can ask, find ask the G-spot. It is real, by yeah. the way. And also, you can ask questions. And the cervix. Yeah, you can ask questions. So, like, oh, hey, no. man. And the average man lasts eight minutes, just in case you wanted to know. And women, it takes 20 to 40 minutes to orgasm. So we have a little gap there. It doesn't matter! Okay, so... uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about you? Uh, what she said, uh, it, it would have to be foreplay. Um, yeah, going to it, the it, fair it, it, is, that, is that foreplay for you on the roller coaster? No. Um, <laughs> caress oh, me, fear. make me that answers it. Don't take her to the fair, niggas. <laughs> that proves my point. I still want to go to the fair, take it to the fair anyway. Um, it would have to be foreplay, caress me, make me feel like you appreciate my body. Um, build it up, don't be so quick, like. I had a nigga kiss me four times and was like, all right, you ready to go? No, <laughs> nigga. What? Come on, I man. Mean, like, come huh. on. No, I have to, like, 
I, I need to feel like I'm in a different world. Like, take my mind there. You know mm. what I'm saying? And then my body will follow. Mm. I'll say this, though. If you can uh, engage with her before mentally, like before you even mm-hmm. get to that, um, you know, the bedroom, and then you do foreplay for a period of time, and she's in- into that in the moment, and then you put it in after, it's going to be a whole different experience. Exactly. And it's going to be super Take wet. my mind there. My body yeah. will follow. Keep. Here's the other thing, too, guys. Like, a lot of you guys do all this extra shit in the bedroom. Real talk. Like, you got to do the work oh. outside the bedroom by nice. being attractive, being on your game, <laughs> yep. having other girls. Like, you guys go to think it's gonna, this is going to be toxic, but I'm just going to say it. Like, when your girl sees that other girls want you, that's going to get her hot. Yeah. When you dress well, you're in the gym, you take care of yourself, etc. You do. I'm telling you, all man, do the work outside the goddamn bedroom so that when you get into the bedroom, you don't have to do much. That's you know true. what I'm saying? You already, you already do all this work outside the mm-hmm. bedroom anyway. Like, let her... Do the work in the bedroom. I mean, you're gonna do it anyway, man. Most girls are starfish anyway. It don't matter. But the point is, is that oh she's God. when I mean do the work outside the bedroom, right? I mean, as in be attractive. Let her see other women. Pre-selection, other women see you. You dress well. You're in the gym. You take care of yourself. You're working hard. By the time you get to the bedroom, it's a foregone conclusion. She's already ready to go because she's like, damn, I got the fucking guy. That's the shit, and he's choosing me over all these other chicks. She doesn't have to know you have a bunch of yeah. other chicks. She could just, for that moment, make her feel special, man. That's all you got to do, you know? Uh, th- I'm telling you out, women get turned on in the cerebral first. And you could turn around in the cerebral without even being in the bedroom just by yeah. how you operate your masculine energy in general, bro. If you're doing all this extra shit, oh, let me lick your vagina three times, Mm-mm. play a saxophone Mm-mm. while fucking, you know, listening to some weird music in the background. Like, bro, she's going to lose respect for you because you have to do all this <laughs> shit to get her off. She don't like you like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's not good. So, that's true. I know, do you have something for that, Miss Sex Coach? I know well, you probably disagree, but that's fine. No, I mean, I, I, d- ladies, please don't starfish. Oh, my God. I assume that means you just lay there. Is that what that yeah, means? Yeah, a lot of girls do that, yeah. Don't do that. Like, be, act like, a guy likes it when you, like, pull him into your body and, and tell him what you like. And maybe he won't do it if he's Myron, but maybe if he's not, like, he will. Just tell him. I want you know? to have sex with a bad chick and tell me what, they all starfish. Yeah, they all the starfish. Starfish. Yeah. Almost always starfish, if, bro. If That's a woman's starfishing you, I mean, she's just not into it at all. I'm initiating sex at 90%. You, 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 I, I don't think you guys understand. You know what? We might have to do a reverse role later on <laughs> yeah. to let you guys see like what it's like to deal with women. Because I don't think like women understand how entitled women really are. Well, a lot of hot women think they don't have to do anything because they're yeah. hot and they're like, yeah. oh, he's lucky to have yeah. me. It's like, no, bitch. There's like 10 other hot ones like waiting. Yeah, in facts, line. but you know. Yeah, but <laughs> wait, have, well, none of you have ever dated a woman as a man until mm-hmm. tonight. We might have something for y'all. If y'all want us to do it, there you go. <laughs> you guys are gonna. Oh, Let's you guys are like, wait, what? <laughs> we gotta start for you guys later. But uh, go right. ahead, fresh. All right, what about you? What do you want? To, I got you there. Uh, I'll say uh, I like a guy that's playful. Like you can kiss them, and then he's like, "No, I'm not gonna kiss you," and then you kiss him. Whatever. I don't know. I like to just be something interesting, something that I can like. Oh, okay, and then for sure you have to choke me. That's it. Wait, yo, that's like zero to one. 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 Zero to I guess my family for three days. You know, no food. You know what I'm saying? So I want you to write a ransom note and say that if I don't get this much money with the weird ass letters, you know, yeah, yeah. magazine, <laughs> weird letters, the weird ass letters, you won't spell see it correctly. Me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I don't get some ridiculous amount of money, one billion dollars in three days, no. you know you'll say. never see her again. Never see her again. Some did. Oh, anyway, oh, we go too far. Okay. <laughs> Comprende, asshole. Oh, yeah. That's what turns me on. Yeah. <laughs> and canceled. And then make sure you put me in your closet and lock me in there. And Don't feed me. Don't wear the keys. No water. <laughs> Just a drip, Ivy drip. Here's something that you got to let make sure you do for the first time. Go ahead. Okay, so for everything y'all said was great. Foreplay is great. And don't skimp on that, y'all. Just like, because your girl's going to be more open. She's going to be more wet. And remember, everyone orgasms in the brain anyways. You think it's a like an anatomical thing, but you orgasm in the mind. So you, like y'all said, build that up and all that's great. Now, 
get off the clit, just forget the clit for a while. Focus on going inside the yoni. And a lot of women will come and they'll have even shooting orgasms, like squirting orgasms, whatever. And that's kind of fun. Um, but also let a woman just get on top and let fun her. Fun for you. Hey, yeah. one for me, man. It can't it just squirt it on all over the place, it's man. It's not pee or anything, though. Nah, They've science. Know, but... You just have to wash your sheets. It's fine. But um, also let a woman get on top and let her get herself off. Because for women, that's the easiest way for them to get off is mm -hmm. for them to be on top because they're controlling it. A lot of times men will try to move you like, okay, no, 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 because they like to see the back because they're visual and they want to get that shot. But let, just give them some time. Give them. I a like it from the back. I do too. Trust me. I like it from the back like the next girl. <laughs> but for like, I want to get off. So for me, being on top, that's how I get off really quickly. Unless it's like a cervical or uterine orgasm. But most guys don't know how to do that. Oh, so. question. I'm uh, I'm confused. What's the uh, yoni again? The, uh, it's the Sanskrit word for vagina. Yeah, okay. for vagina. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. It's just weird. Yeah, I was going to lost. I'm like, yoni? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, chat. Yoni is a, is a pussy. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. They're wondering in the chat. Yeah, I was like, what the right. Yoni? Uh, next question. Are we gonna uh, have the girls be a guy for a second? Actually, uh, lady, just we'll do around here of questions mm -hmm. you want to ask us, and then we'll, we'll play a game. Yeah. yeah. So, any questions you want to know? Dating lifestyle. Me and Myron are here, or even the girls too. Could chime in. Uh, we can start here with questions or disagreements. I got, or I got a like great that. question. My guy actually wants me to ask this. Oh shit. oh shit! It's a good one. It's a good one. All right. So if you're, let's say I'm going to set up the scenario. Okay. You're dating someone, not someone you just met. You're in a relationship with them. Okay. Or whatever situationship, whatever y'all call it. And it's something, you know, sort of committed or committed. If the girl is on her moon cycle or her period, her menstrual time of the month, is that an automatic no? Or nope. would there be, hold on, hold on. Let me get the question out. Would there be exceptions if the lights were off, if you were in the shower, if you put down a towel, knowing that this is the time when the woman's hormones are super heightened. So it, it's going to be more pleasurable for both of you. Is that got, a solid no? Or is there? I got one sentence for you. Real bad man. Don't stop at red lights. <laughs> Fresh. There you go. I can fuck with you. Yes. Put a towel down. With a yes. Hey, any way possible. Myron is like hell. Myron is no. a solid. No. Like hell no. I, I hate the sight of blood, so no. My guy's the same. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I hate the sight of blood, so I'm not doing it. We but what if the lights were sober? off, or you're in the shower and the lights are off? Nah. There's no seeing. Hell. This was my argument. It's still not nah, because you you could tell it's like. The, Are you gonna say the, the smell? The, 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 <laughs> no, the blo no blood has like it, you. I don't know immediately. It's more liquid. Yeah, it's like it's like a weird. It's, it's like sticky. almost too wet. You're like, what the fuck? This the sun off, and then you look. You're like, oh god. And then, then next thing you know, it's like blood everywhere, and you know what I'm saying just like mm -hmm. you know like yeah. That's why there's a, there's a shower, bro. You exactly. Shower after. Exactly. Like, hey, mm. I don't know about y'all <sighs> niggas, man, but. I'm Yo. good, man. <laughs> but I'm think good. about it. Girls are super horny on their period, That's bro. exactly yeah. my I'm point. Their you, bro, hormones like... are insane at this yeah. point. Yes. Fresh, I'm with know. you. I have a joke. Um, If I can just tell it real quick. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, what knock, did, knock. What did the uh, lesbian vampire, well, the va female vampire say to the lesbian? I know it. I suck you. I'll see you next month. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that was so <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I got you. Joke. What about yeah, Aaron? <laughs> he didn't chime in on that. No, What's, what do you mean? What is it? Was that a yes or no? About yeah, Chris, you pervy ass nigga. What, what would you do in this situation? Oh, yeah, I mean, sex on the cycle. I don't stop at red lights, man. It's like I, I, I get a towel, Not surprised. Okay. Um, I put it on. Um, I just do missionary. I'm like, yo, just just don't move too much. And afterwards, the shower is right there. <laughs> exactly. Um, be, you said uh, don't move too much. I mean, yo, don't, don't move don't, too don't, much. I mean, at the hey, moment, just start don't, this. Don't, don't fuck up the sheets. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm serious. Are you move okay. too much, doing extra shit, flipping around it and doggy Morning style. Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen. Said, shut up. Bitch, don't move too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, bro, it's a towel, bro. Like, how far can you just put a towel, bro? You, 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 you and Venezuela might get along. You got some ropes and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, some ropes, some, some, a bag, you know, just 
Hey, she'll know where she's at. And Chris, <laughs> you, hey, Chris, you look like the type of nigga to misspell a, a ransom letter anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He got to write the letter because if he wants to call, hey, hey, nigga, I need the money. Need the money. <laughs> yeah. We don't the money, understand man. I need the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. put it in the bag, man. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? what did they say? Yeah, put it in the bag, man. Hey. Yeah, little peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peanut butter. I'm I'm nobody so, understands Chris. Nigga, so I'm so him. If he called and gave a threatening call, oh, nigga, I need the money. Excuse me? Oh, nigga, I need the money. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And they'll get like, all right, all right. And they're like, uh, sir, what? what? No, nigga, I've got to go. I need the money. No, no, no. What? And then he's like, oh, fuck this nigga, I'm going to send you a letter. And he fucking sends a ransom letter. Fucking. Sends a ransom letter. We'll cut out some magazines and shit like that. We got the Venezuelan girl. You know what I'm saying? I need mean, $1 billion. How do you spell uh, shit coming uh, back? Venezuela, by the way? Uh, you know, like, <laughs> spell that shit. B E N Z. And then just end it there. Swella. Wait, Chris, you don't know how to spell it? Hell no. Really? What the B- fuck? Nah, he knows how to spell it. He's just fucking around. No, no, I think he's serious. No, you what? Can spell it. No, you good, man. Because <laughs> you're now mature already. <laughs> All right. Um, um, but anyway, yeah, but uh, yeah, you guys should definitely hook so, up after look. you guys. <laughs> I mean, so did you see we, in Venezuela? Stand yeah. still, bitch. You bleeding. Yo. Stand still. So now we know who obeys the law. And yeah. here's your answer. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Right, break a question. All right, what yeah, about there you? you go. No, I'm good. No question? No, okay. no, no. You sure? What about you? I'm sure. <laughs> she wants to know handcuffs or ropes, Chris. Oh, uh, uh, ropes uh, is good. Okay, because, so you know, the fire is. If a man is in a committed relationship, <laughs> right, and say that he plans to marry this woman, why does he still keep his options open? Mm. That's a good question. If that's the person that he plans to be with for the rest of his life. Oh, <laughs> like I don't, I don't, well, I don't understand. Like, mm-hmm. answer that question for me. Simply like, put, um, if it's a, definitely a high value guy with options, uh, he's gonna have other girls in the picture no matter what. Now, if he's choosing you to be his wife and have his kids and have his, you know, his last name, then you win. However, from time to time, he's gonna, you know, exercise those, those options. And in reality speaking, um, he still loves you because he's giving you the ring, he's giving you the title, and he's coming home to you. He might just do his thing on the side, but he, lo- he really loves you. So mm-hmm. that's just how guys are. I know it's, it's hard to, to hear, but like, that's just how guys operate. I know, but ew. Long I, story, <laughs> long story actually, short, they're going to have the dick. You're going to have the heart. Girl, I Boom. don't give a fuck, but <laughs> I want it all. And if I can't have it all, bitch, I don't but want it's, you. But no, it's you're also going to have the dick. Don't, don't, don't about, worry about girl, that. Fuck Chris, that. Can we pull up the we, we don't want we it's don't actually, want to share. Folks, it's unrealistic. That's cool. But I'm just saying, I don't want to share, period. Mm-mm. You got a point? Well, my point is this. Here's and I and I tell this to everyone I date, and I don't know why I do it because I shoot myself in the head. But I say, listen, if we're like if we get married one day and you know you were to like cheat on me, exercise your options, and it was just sex, I would I would stay. I probably shouldn't say that, but I say, listen, I would stay. Because it's just sex. Sex is like porn stars have it. People have it all the time and they don't fucking, they just, it's just two people masturbating together. People do it all the time in relationships. But if you were to have an emotional affair, like you were texting her and sending her, you know, like doing things together to build intimacy and not even, even if you didn't fuck her and you were having Tell emotional. Tell her the type of sandwich you like. <laughs> Fuck so, yeah. yeah. That I, shit, I'm gone. I'm taking the kids and I'm I gone. Believe. But if you're just smashing some chick and you you know you're in Vegas with the boys and it's whatever, some whatever. It just it's just ass. It doesn't mean anything. He's not gonna leave me for a stripper or something like that. I have his name, I have his kids, and it's like then I'm I'm okay with it. And that's not saying that I don't value myself. That says that I'm realistic as a woman because I know how exactly. men think. Yep. But I'm also not encouraging that behavior either. But if it was the other way around, he would leave me and I would understand. <laughs> Because it's an unfair world for women. It just is. Sorry. That's, That's just how point. it goes. I, I believe if and you I, don't want to find something, don't look for something. Yeah. You know? Just don't look. Yeah. If you No busques lo que no se te no ha perdido. No busques lo que no se te ha perdido, hermana. Ooh, so, okay. Talk slower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you don't have to look for it. Sometimes it comes to you. So anyway. Well, they're being, they're being too sloppy. Dick. Then. Hey. Then, yeah. yeah. That's a little bit. That's not cool. Dick. Discipline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, we're gonna pull up a calculator real quick, and I, because I, I, I'm uh, very intrigued as a first time uh, <laughs> attendee sure of the show, I have some, I got to figure out what your standards are real fast. So we have uh, a 
calculator here. It's called the I Got Standards, bro. The female oh delusion calculator. Oh, my God. Um, Not again. Uh, yeah, and uh, here's the thing. This calculator is actually based off the U.S. Census, so it's actually very accurate as far as, like, available men that meet a certain demographic. So let's enlarge this bad boy. So we're going to pick your dream guy that you want to be faithful to that you don't want to share. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> what age group is he going to be in between? Uh, so the fair limit is how what, 18? Shut your ass <laughs> up. <laughs> I'll say, because I'm 25, I would say 26. Okay. Uh-uh. 26, too? Yeah. Uh, 35. Okay. There you go. Don't settle, girl. You know what you want. All right. Can you be married? Oh, no. You don't share, right? Yeah. So he can't be married. All right. Fair enough. She does not share. She stated. All right. What race would you want him to be? Uh, black. Black. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dang, can I answer my own question? I already know. <laughs> sure. know. Well, it's statistically proven that black women overwhelmingly prefer black men. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, minimum height. Minimum? Yeah, minimum. I, I don't... Like, okay. Uh, five, five. Because I'm 5'1". I'm 5'1". Five 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 oh, she, she's 5'1". Oh, okay. oh, that's that's ladies, fair enough. Yeah, I'll so let, it's, it's yeah, gonna... let, let her pick. Let her pick. Okay, so 5'5". Five, five? Jesus Christ. It's yeah, that's okay. cool for me. All right, so all right, that's good. That's good. Um, can, can he be obese? Can he be obese? No. Okay. And then what is the bare minimum income? Keep it honest here. <laughs> Uh, Remember, this is a guy that you, wanna, that you don't want to share. Don't want to share? Your okay. Mi- At least six figures. So 100000 Yeah, that's good. Bare minimum. Being realistic. Bare min- okay. Yeah. Realistic. Realistic. All right. Let's, uh, let's find it. out how prevalent this guy is. How common he is. Well, he's only 5'5", Myron. So that has... Over. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. You scored a perfect... Oh, well, four. Four, 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 four. Oh, damn. So two niggas out of 100. Yeah. So you have... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so literally, uh, let's see. Yeah, you score four out of five cat bags. So she is a cat enthusiast. Oh, I know why. Why? Because it says black man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. That's, and it's also uh, the. Yeah. I, I, income, I didn't think it would be income, that much because yeah. of the height. The no. The no. income. I'm sorry. Image. I'm going to be realistic. Wait, okay, explain. Oh, so um, what we projected, we've been saying this for a while, that a, a significant amount of women are going to be single in the next 10 years. They actually <laughs> estimate over 50% of women are going to be single in 2030. And a big reason is because of kind of what we just saw just now. A lot of I don't have... want to be one of them. Oh, you <laughs> we be know one that. Of them. They have uh, very high standards like that. I mean, you just pretty much described the guy that's extremely rare. Now, let me ask you this one question. Okay. If he's rare, mm-hmm. why do you think he's only going to have sex with you? I mean, okay. I don't have an answer. There you go. <laughs> so that right there answers your question as to why guys want to keep their options. Because once a man reaches a certain level, why the hell am I going to only have one girl that's stupid? Okay. He has the leverage. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Like once you deal with a guy on that level. And this is a guy that's only 5'5", making $100,000 a year. I know. That's how I was shocked So why he's so height. cocky with his short ass? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Fuck. Yeah, and, and him, yeah. Exactly. And, and, that's, and that's your bare minimum height. Let's be honest. Like You don't want somebody like closer to six feet probably it's only going to decrease your chances of finding him exactly so. yeah so in other words the higher up you go the totem pole of the guy the more you're going to have to accept the reality that you're going to have to share him sexually i mean those okay. are those are loosely interchangeable things you know what i'm saying i don't have like oh he has to be this he has to be this no it's it's other things that come still with it's still fairly rare though yeah, regardless yeah so yep. are you willing to share him now that you know that the, the no, staggering numbers absolutely not i'll just you know go Look at some other options. Mm-hmm. Okay, he'll change do it behind things. your back then. Interchangeable yeah, he's, just, he's just gonna fuck girls behind your back. No, no, no. no yeah. I said not him. We'll just move on to somebody else. By the way, I'll the change my. I'll change this. interchangeable things. Accept it, real quick. <laughs> yeah, just I for, do. I forgot to mention, guys. Tickets for the no. um party are gonna be available right now. Uh, if you look in the description box, they are there. They're only twenty, so I'm putting the link also on my Instagram page, Fresh Prince CEO. Um, so guys, get your tickets now because it won't be here long. And got, we got 20 spots. And uh yeah, Chris, you want to so that, yeah, I mean, do you want to do it right now or wait till tomorrow? Because people are at Panax and I don't know if you wanna because people would buy right, like right away today. No, no, because uh well uh, should All we right. put it in the chat or should we just uh leave, leave it? If I if I was fantastic saying, planning, by the way, guys. <laughs> no, I mean it's 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 only 20 spots and people will, will buy. Yeah, because people uh, will buy like, like I just want to be fair, put it to everyone here in the chat first. So if we'll put it fair. You know what? And this is for the VIP. This is for the VIP yeah, section, VIP, guys, yeah. of the party. We're going to have our 500K party the, uh, this Saturday, the 18th. So if you guys want to attend and be in the VIP with us and a couple of other people, 
check us out. If not, I'm going to be walking out on the main floor and talking to all y'all, shaking hands, you know, all that other stuff. So don't worry. All right, fresh. Yeah, let's you don't do have it. to. It's fine. But Hello. yeah, it's only 20 I'm spots. I'm playing in the chat. Only 20 spots left. All right, guys. Um, There you go. And this is for VIP. You're going to be uh, pretty much with us in the section. Mm -hmm. uh, some celebrities, uh, some girls from the show as well. So that's what you're really uh, getting into. That being said, you can come to the party for free if you want to. Just show up. But you will yeah. be on, on the General admission floor. is free. Yeah. We're not going to charge y'all to come. So, uh, so yeah, we got the hookup with Van Dome to let you guys in for free for the party. For the, yeah. Party. So, all right, cool. Uh, so where were we here? Okay, so, uh, so you're not sharing. You're not changing. You're, you're not switching around. No. She ain't selling. All, right. all right, fair enough. Next question? It's going to be a tough one. God life. don't send me my one. I ain't worried. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we just gave you the statistics. I'm manifesting. I don't care about your statistics. Money Manifest. Amen. That's God, all. Got That's me. God got me. God got you, girl. Mm -hmm. Yo, queen. Mm -hmm. Manifest that. Absolutely. Bro, could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 okay, let, let's just let's just take her 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 scenario, right? Mm -hmm. We're bums. We're, we're just living at home, like smoking right. weed every day. Bro, we gonna get. I'm gonna get a bad bitch, man. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna manifest that shit, bro. I'm gonna, uh, get, I'm gonna get it. And you might. Yeah. No, you I might. will not. All those lonely nights. I will not. You might. Wishing for a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> coming, bro. Yeah. She's bro. It yacht. depends on what you Get... think a bad bitch is. A bad bitch is a bad bitch. No. No, nah, I don't. I don't think. I want to so. get like a chick that's in a music video. Okay. I want to get a ten out of ten. I want to get the baddies of the baddies that everybody wants. I'm. I, I can't manifest that, man. <laughs> like I have to take deliberate action. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. That's that's part of yeah, that's queen. part of manifestation. And, and you make, don't just say I want this and that. And, like, well, and hold on, hold on. Yeah. And change and make concessions to get the reality that I want. In other words, that kind of guy that you want is rare. So that means he's the prize. You are trying to get him. You can't go in there and be like, oh yeah, by the uh, way, bro, I know I have no leverage in this deal, but you gotta be faithful to only me. He'd be like, oh yeah, sure, okay. He's gonna go fuck a girl behind your back. <laughs> no. Refuses to accept reality. No. All right, fair enough. <laughs> no. Oh, by the way, with the, with the tickets for the, for the VIP, you also get first date blueprint for those tickets. So mm -hmm. you get our private Zoom call, how to get laid, the blueprint laid out for you with the tickets. So that's an added bonus for you getting a VIP, and you can chill with us one on one in the club and other people there as well special guests so shout out to y'all cool but uh all right so not settling right mm -mm. <laughs> man bro this I'm, a strong, I'm a strong black woman why would i settle oh <laughs> independent in the house she ain't playing with none of y'all niggas Yo, none. you cannot make this up bro you can't make this up this is this is great radio it really is great radio bro we showed the statistics this guy is rare. She's like, I don't care. I'm That's not selling. fine. Manifest. Manifest it, bro. Do the yeah. work and manifest. I'm, I'm just, the work is accepting reality. Though. Your yoni will attract it. Clever, clever, clever. Okay. No, I mean, y'all in the chat see it, bro. Like, it, this is this is what it is, man. And here, no offense to you. It's just that. <laughs> I'm going to manifest I, 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 so Yeah. <laughs> man, red like, flags. Yeah. Red <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh okay. God, Don't read the chat, please. Killing me. Okay, right. so I have a, a question for Fresh. Oh, oh shit. God, oh, here shit. we go. So I heard you're a rabbit. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. A rabbit? Fresh is a rabbit. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How do you make a girl come? Tell us, Fresh. <laughs> Yeah, I hate you, Nina. Step by step. That's a very good, uh, good question. I love that. <laughs> I think this is for Patreon, though. But I'll, I'll give a brief kind of like summary here. So, like I said before, right? Every girl's body's different. So you got to understand what takes her and what kind of like she's into. Green and flags. Green flags? Mm -hmm. Insert green flags in the chat. <laughs> um, I would just say, try to figure out what turns her on. And for, like, for example, some girl's clit is definitely gonna make her come, or it could be like she said inside the yoni. It could be uh, there's a a sweet spot you gotta find, but it comes with experience, you know, trying different things and seeing what she's moaning to, seeing what she responds to, and it's like you're trying to figure out like a puzzle piece. I'm sorry, puzzle, right? You're trying to figure out okay, what's the best piece to put here, best piece to put there. Once you've got the puzzle, she's gonna come waterfalls. But once again, you have to have experience, you have to know what you're doing, and every girl's different, so. I just kind of like, you know, survey the body, see what she's into. And once I get that response that I want, I keep going for it. And here's my thing, right? If I can make her come multiple times, I'm telling you, most guys don't take the time to do that. So 
once again, these fingers right here is all you really need. Once you figure that shit out, and then you got some strong dick game, man, she's yours forever. Can you Listen, show us how you use the fingers? Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I mean, look, this is not a sex ed class, but... <laughs> We're gonna do a video on my vlog channel just behind the scenes, but um, I mean, look, man, two fingers in, you feel mm -hmm. me? Play with the click, it's kind of like while you're in it, actually, that's powerful because now you're giving uh, you know, the penetration plus the fingers with the dual click. stimulation, exactly. So, there, there you go, Th that works too. Mm. I hate you, Nina. <laughs> also, um, oh, actually, you can... we got a live example here. <laughs> <laughs> okay question for you for me yeah okay was i able to like perform and make you, and make you come multiple times oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, shit. Spicy. Oh, wow. can you put okay. something for me okay. so spicy. oh my gosh i'm just right. saying like my well, do it, do it, go ahead. <laughs> i guess we just went there <laughs> oh, we just went there i'm just saying like you feel me i'm gonna say yes not gonna lie. Okay. Cool. I'm Wait, hold on. What I missed because I was in the bathroom and tried to <laughs> No, no, no. I'm not repeating. I'm sorry. I'm there not repeating. Okay. Moving on. All right, All chat. Moving on. I mean, honestly, every goes different and you can understand. Okay, cool. I may be good, uh, you know, with what I'm doing, but I don't know her body yet. So I have to explore her body, see what she's into, see what she responds to. And from there, I can make a calculated choice. Okay, you know what? This is what's gonna make her, uh, you know, come. So I'm gonna do this. Hmm. Chat's gonna want to know: Did you write a ransom note, or how'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I can barely speak. I have to write a note. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nigga, call her family. Hey, no, I, I, I got your, I, 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 I got your daughter. <laughs> I'm gonna kill, 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 kill her. Matter of fact, I'm gonna. Oh, shit, hold on. What's it? What's it? Go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, oh my God! You wanna know something? There's a guy. There's a guy that blocked me. After seeing the show, oh my after god, he blocked me. Oh, for real? What? Yeah. For real. Oh, shit. <laughs> wait, because, wait, why? Uh... I don't know. You're ruining my game. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. What Fresh, the fuck? But do you make her come before you come? Okay, so there's some deep game oh my here. God. That's not for you. Nina, you want a pen and paper too? Yeah, yeah. I'm not like, getting wet or but, what? But just to like, um, <laughs> give you a short summary. So, I'm gonna come like pretty quickly, but I have a power where I can come and keep going. So you think it off? Disney has a power. Huh? It's expert. Are you thinking it off? No, I just like to come and keep going. But my thing is, I want to give her multiple orgasms. So I'm gonna come <laughs> early, regardless. But I won't stop until she's came like two to four times if I can make it happen. And then I feel like, okay. You know what? I did my job. So because yeah. look, I'm 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 already pleased at this point. So I just want to please you. See. You know, we're here. here goes another guy blocking me. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Uh, that, 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 that took a strange turn right there. Right. Uh, this, it, it, of course, X Men. Yeah, I guess. Not come men whenever I want. Hey, man. <laughs> All you guys out there that say that the first doesn't get girls, I guess what? Listen, listen. All right. Uh, Look, bro, that's so, more receipts than you can even. Simple. Become, come men. Become a plumber. Find a leak. Make sure you could fill the leak with the right pipe in. You're good to go. Pretty wow. much, that's pretty much it. Okay. I'm just that saying. An analogy, I mean, just follow a Drano. That was really good. Wow. Really all good. right. I'm curious her question. Thanks. For all the fresh haters out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just want to know, Myron, are you oh, a selfish <laughs> Oh, You seem like shit. a selfish We know lover. the answer to that. Oh, Come from on. all that I've heard, on I just spot. want to know, like. Wait, all you heard? Side eye. All the I've side heard eye. this evening. Oh shit! Oh, right, 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 right. I know the answer right, to that right, question. Right, right, right. Like, I just want to know truthfully: Are you a selfish lover? What does that Come even mean? Come on, this is what does that this even is mean? Have you heard him the whole night? I mean, <laughs> Maron gave it seeds before, so right, Maron? He, gave it he literally yeah, said it doesn't said, matter you... if the girl comes. Exactly. So that's yeah, yeah, so of like, course I'm it in is. disbelief. I'm in disbelief. I, are you are you getting laid right now? Like in your current like where you are in the present. Myra's always getting laid. I was going to say, that should be a given. You okay. triggered my trap card! Oh, I love you! <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I mean, so, okay, so you asked a bunch of questions there. So, the first question is, am I a selfish lover? Yeah. Yeah, what, what the fuck? Well, yeah, of course, yeah. well, I don't care what a girl... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the girl's ejaculation doesn't matter. Like, a lot of girls just, like, because 
they, they I don't want to sound like fresh here, but they like me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they like me for me. They like me for me. Oh my god. No, I mean they they just enjoy my presence and shit. Like I I, I don't know what it is. I guess me being an asshole turns girls on. Me not giving a fuck about them turns them on. So they, they I don't really got to do much. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I always say like I do the work outside so that by the time she comes and deals with me, she already kind of knows what what it is. And the fact that she's in that position already, she's like ready for it. So it's like I, I've kind of already done the work on the front end. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie though, it hurts me too. I've seen your podcast. You're so mean. You're <laughs> such, da, 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 da. I'm like, all right, like I don't give a fuck. Like if you don't like it, then it is what it is. Like I don't like your podcast. Da, 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 da. Shut up, bitch. I don't care. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like whatever. So it like you know it helps me as well, but it hurts me a lot too. So. And, yeah, and I would say there's more than one way to skin a cat. And uh, Myron's uh, definite strategy works for him. Mine works for me. His just seems very abrasive, but it actually works. I, like, I'm surprised that What's it works your so sign? well. Wait, what? Yeah, oh, I'm just wait, curious. But, but Myron, like, you, you are in a great shape. You're in great shape. You're tall, paws. And uh, once again, it's like the way how you carry yourself is, is certainly, uh, certainly yeah. a fact that helps. girls love you. This is, what I, this is what it is. So I always tell guys all the time, like, when you meet women, you shouldn't go in there thinking like, damn, I hope she likes me. What I tell guys is you go in there and be like, take it or fucking leave it. Yeah. Like, this is how I am. You know, King Von. I am what I am. One of my favorite songs, right? All right rest in peace to him. Right? Um, even though, you know, I don't like the GDK thing because I don't like <laughs> GD rappers too. Shout out to 22Gs, right? I like, I like both. But anyway, regardless, I tell people, be who you are. Like, don't change because girls are going to respect that because I don't give a fuck if a girl doesn't like you. She's going to respect you. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of guys, their issue is that they meet a girl and they, they try to acquiesce to what that girl likes. And she can yeah. feel it, man. Like, yeah. yo, this dude's a fraud. He's trying to impress me. He's trying too hard. Be who he's not. That's lame. So you're better off, like, coming in how you are and repelling the girls that you don't want to deal with anyway and then getting the girls that you like. So if anything, for me, I, I screen out a lot of girls just from the way I act. And I don't, like, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I get so many hate messages and you're an asshole or you're a jerk or my friend told me about you and not a, all this other bullshit. I'm like, Good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it like that weeds out a lot of girls. Because what did I tell you earlier in the show? If you leave a woman to her own devices, what's she going to do? She's going to waste your time. She's going to make you go on multiple dates, whatever. So I'd rather her just like, I know up front. All right. If she's made it this far, you know, she's went through some, 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 you know, she's went through a process of elimination to some degree. So it works out in my favor, to be honest with me, to be honest with you. Like, it, it weeds out a lot of time wasters because a lot of girls are time wasters. So I look at it like, saves me time. Oh, but I lose a lot of leads too, though, because like they know what it is. Cause, but you can't like if you search my name, like you don't see a bunch of shit on the internet. Oh my god, massage just take that TikTok dating massage. coach, Fox massage. News. Like you know what I'm saying? Wait, like, you're a dating coach? No, they put that on on the internet. Yeah. Like if you Google Myron Games, it comes like, up. Some of your mentality is the same as my boyfriend's, and he's a dating coach. And I'm like, oh, he is. Yeah, he hey is. man, he knows no, what time it is. Yeah, but yeah. you sure your dating coach doing four hours with a face off? Yeah, with you got? I got it like that though. What like, kind of dating coach is that? I mean, he got like that. Exactly. Like mm. it was the connection, the vibes. I give off the vibes. Okay. Well, another girl I think she's special. But anyway, going back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I give off the vibes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like, yeah, in general, I look at it like I am how I, how I am. Girls like it or not. And if they don't like it, I really don't care. Like, all right, whatever. So cool. All right. So you're not gonna tell me your sign though. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, February. I was February, born February February oh, what? First. Mm. You're, are you a Pisces? That explains so much. Let's carry on. All what right. is the... Pisces are trash. Actually, he's an Aquarius. Actually, he's an Aquarius. He's an Aquarius. My boyfriend Aquarius. is. A lot yeah. of stuff you Got say. Someone asked me my... my sign and not even know. <laughs> I was going to no, say, yeah. like, like anybody in February for me is a Pisces, to be honest. He's yeah. Aquarius. So Aquarius. you're saying it, it doesn't matter, but, then. But it still applies. So what is an Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah. Bruh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, my best friend is an Aquarius. Aquarius so I men, I mean, they, they, a lot of people, my, my guys in Aquarius, they're, a lot of people like them. They're, t they have a lot of friends, a lot of options, and they're kind of, they're just kind of dicks. Yeah. Like, they just are. Ding, ding, ding. It's all good. Though. I think my, <laughs> but, but Myron's women do, women do actually respect that. Like, I respect my guy a lot, and he's not always the way I want him to be, but I do respect it. No, that's it. true. Yeah. That's I, true. I, the thing is with me is that I, I'm honest, and my thing is like, I, I'm, I understand that a woman's respect is is the ultimate thing. It's the most important thing. Correct. So like, I don't care how I get it, but I I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna get it by being honest. Because like, when you're honest, it's so it's so rare for guys to be like, "Well, that was stupid." 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've been on a date with a girl, she'll <laughs> say something dumb, and I'll be like, that was fucking dumb. Or I'll, like, like challenge her on her beliefs. And I don't, I'm not telling you how to do that. Like, don't do that shit on a date. You don't want to break rapport. I don't care anymore. I used to be like, oh, yeah, you know, let me run this game and shit. I don't give a fuck anymore, bro. It's like, this is how I am. You like it, you don't. Because here's the thing. If I don't, if I'm not honest, she's going to Google me anyway. She's going to see me going crazy on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she belongs to the streets, all this extra shit. So I might as well be, you, you could be congruent, man. Be congruent. Because at least they can respect that. Yes. And true. I always say, like, a woman can't love you unless she respects you first. Facts. And she's going to respect you when you don't bend or you don't fold. It is what it is. That you know? is facts. Yeah. I, I will pay for seeing Marin in an actual date. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. Actually, we got Marin. some double dates on Patreon. If you guys want to see back in the day, yeah. it's going to be a lot of double dates. So. Yeah. And here's the other thing, too. Like, yo, y'all have seen it. You guys have seen it. Girl comes on a pod, right? Like this one girl came on a pod. Let's go through memory lane. Like what? Like a month ago when Ak was here and uh, Micro Sheet? Exposed. <laughs> so this girl comes on a pod. And, I, and I'm about to use an example. I'm like, yeah. So like hypothetically, if we went on a date and she stops the show, she's like, wait. <laughs> well, actually, we did go on a date. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and no I'm like, shit. yeah, I swear to God, bro. I was like, oh. No, no <laughs> I'm shit. Like, and I'm like, okay. And she's like, I could expose you right now. And I was like, oh, really? Okay. Do it. No. You triggered my trap card. So she goes ahead and she says, well, we met. And she remembers all the details. And guys, I swear to God, bro, I, I like, I did not remember this girl whatsoever. Like, at all. I don't remember anything. But I don't remember. <laughs> I don't, whatever. But I didn't remember her. And she remembers where we met. She remembered where I lived at the time. She remembered what I used to do for work. And I was like, God damn. Okay, we probably didn't meet up then. <laughs> And she goes, yeah, so we met on a date and you invited me to my place, to your place. And I came through and then like you attacked me. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, you like kissed me and then you want to fuck. And I didn't want to fuck. And like you just I, I left. And, and I was like, OK, did I walk you downstairs? No. I was like, oh, OK, well, I probably called another girl over then. I didn't give a fuck about you. <laughs> like <laughs> it is what it is. And she was like, and she, and, and she thought like she was going to expose me. And I was like, that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. And everyone in the chat was like laughing at her. And then the girls at the table were like, oh, like, yeah, like, no, so wait, you, you got some else. accountability here. Like, you went to a spot and then, like, you didn't think he was going to try to smash. Like, what are you trying to say? It's like, but he just, like, attacked me. Like, she just, like, you know, used all these buzzwords and, you know, try to shame me and shit. It was hilarious because all she did was prove, like, I do what I say I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I try to smash. She didn't want to smash. I was like, okay, cool. Bye. And she left and I called someone else. It is what it is. And then another girl came in. Oh, well, I saw you on a sugar site. And he didn't want to pay me $10,000 a month. And I was like, oh, my God, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's bad on you. Yeah, yeah. She's bad on me, too. I got I got the the COVID, by the way, probably <laughs> COVID-19. But uh, but anyway, so I was like, yeah, nope, I'm not going to pay you. Like, what the fuck? Like, you think I'm going to pay you to hang out, whatever? And I tell guys all the time, like, don't pay to ever hang out with a girl. And she proved <laughs> my point even more. She's like, why are you on a sugar side? If you're not paying girls, you're just trolling. And in my head, I'm just like, oh, my God, this girl, <laughs> she making me look so authentic. And it's like, but she thinks that, like, she's exposing me. And it's like, that's the beauty of like, when you're honest and you're congruent, nobody can expose you. It's mm -hmm. like, this is how I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. And I get, we know we get detractors. Man, you have no game. Okay, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Like, or I do what I want to do. Like, I'm not going to sit here and run all this extra shit. Like, for, having game is very important, female awareness. But like, I'm not going to do all the extra shit anymore. I used to do that shit. I'm tired of it, bro. I, I'd rather take that energy and put it into the podcast, mm -hmm. put it into equipment for you guys, giving you guys good content. That's where I'm focused my energy, man. It's not like I'm chasing girls no more. Fuck that shit. Okay, but what do you do sure. to hold your temper when a girl is literally acting crazy, saying all those things, and then she spits on you? I mean, I, I, I've, I've been literally... working on my anger a lot, you know? <laughs> and like, she, she, because here's the thing. <clears throat> I didn't know that she, that she was going to come on the show. Fred told me, like, right before. I didn't know she was coming. So... And I was like, at first, I was like, nah, bro, she, nah, fuck this. And he yeah. was like, no, man, just, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it, because, uh, because, um, because you know Selena, yeah. right? So like, so, and Selena didn't want to come wild her. I was like, man, what the fuck? And Fresh had already told them they can come. So like, god damn it. So she comes. I already knew she was gonna try some bullshit. So she comes and you're broke and all this extra shit. I'm like. Bro, I guess you I don't have more. any property. Yeah, yeah. She said you don't have any property. And I'm like, all right, whatever, bro. bro like, I'm not even gonna argue with, with this girl. Some, man. No, like, but you know what's stupid. crazy? After she spit on you, you were like, well, you know, you just assaulted me. I, I'm gonna call the cops on you. Yeah. And she was like, haha, you're a black man in America who wants to call the cops on me. Yeah. You're yeah, very wow. funny. Wow. Like, yeah, she crazy. Yeah, yeah, she racist, bro. Yeah. Wow. Racist yeah. as fuck. Yeah, she racist. She said some other crazy shit too on another interview, but I even want to give the give them people clout. 
But yeah, it, it, it is what it is, man. But this is, if anything, it's for the guys out there to learn. Like, yo, this is what y'all dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, because here's the thing. She spilled a drink, right? So she gets drunk. Oh, I got a funny story for y'all too. So she spills a drink, right? And I'm like, yo, she and I right pass the paper towel. And I'm like, yo, clean that. She's like, no. And I was like, all right, then you can leave. Get out of here. And then I'm like, all right, you got to go. And she won't leave. She's just like sitting there talking shit. I'm like, bro, just leave. Get out of here. Like, what's wrong with you? And then she like, and then I close, I'm about to close the door. And she spits on my, and it lands right here on my arm. I was like, God fucking damn. It's on Patreon, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit. So, man. Y'all want to hear something funny? I didn't tell this story before, right? So a couple days ago. <laughs> I'm going, I'm coming from the gym, right? And uh, I'm in the elevator. She lives in this building. I, and there's like three people in there. So I walk in, I see her in there. I'm like, oh, here we go. So but I was like uh, ordering something on, on Amazon, right? And I hear her go, and I can like see her at the corner of my eye. She goes, we went viral with that annoying ass voice. I'm looking at my phone. I look up at her. Right back down to doing what I'm doing, bro. Ignore her. And everyone in the elevator like, oh, like uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, this is awkward. And then like, I just don't say nothing. <laughs> it was kind of funny. And then um, someone leaves the elevator. And then like yeah, her floor comes and she just gets the fuck out quick as hell. And and like a day or two later, she's doing this mad ass interview or whatever, because like I didn't acknowledge her. Like, and every time I see her, you're my witness. She'd be trying to talk to me in the building. I just like look at her and I'm like, <laughs> I just like keep walking. Like I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna give her no attention, no nothing, bro. Like it's just like I ain't even gonna say her name on here. Y'all might have seen the clip, but uh but yeah, she's mad because for the first time. A dude's making money off her. She ain't making no money off me, bro. That's wild, man. City <laughs> boys, we up, baby. 10K. 10K. No, it's, it's the fact that she spat on you, and then she really said that. She was like, ha ha, you're a black man in America who's yeah. trying to call the cops on me. Yeah. I could just make up any lie right now and get you shot up. Yeah. That's yeah, like yeah, literally yeah, what yeah. she's trying to say right yeah, there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's That's crazy dangerous. Shit. That's crazy. like dangerous. I'm glad though. I wasn't here. I would have beat him. <laughs> I would have helped him. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that's crazy shit. I just had my blood boiling. Yeah. No, that's fine. I mean, like I said, it's for people out there to learn. And just, there's crazy people out like that, bro, that are entitled as fuck that, like, well, come into your spot, disrespect you on your platform, talk shit, spill it's alcohol on your table. You ask them to clean it, like, no. They give you an attitude and talk a bunch of shit, then spit on you as you tell them to leave. Mm-hmm. Crazy shit, bro. But, you know, it is what it's coming to earth. Um, so, um, and then try to like act like it's all cool in the elevator. I just like, look at her, like, we went bro. viral, yeah. Like, what <laughs> we no, <laughs> we did it, like, we did it, Joe. Fit. yeah. Fresh and fit did, bitch. Like, nobody knows who your name is. So, uh, okay, Slayer SX 6X Idaho here making 55k is pretty good money for a single guy. Facts, cool. Uh, 10 bucks, Burning Wolf, uh, all the way from Great Britain from red to red. It goes from large to small. Hmm, decisions, decisions, Miss Pineapple. Dwayne stretching out my boxers after smashing. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we got uh, R- Burning Wolf. So the girl next to Fresh, thanks for restoring my trust and faith in big old titties or tig old biddies. Had some masculine uh, crazy girls that led down the face huggers crowd. Yeah, we've had some tough guests recently. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, 20 bucks. Venom. Question for Pineapple. Since you've been on the show often and learned a lot about how men think, you took your last relationship seriously, but as an OF girl, do you think your ex was taking you seriously given his status? Yeah, I think he, yeah, he was for sure. Okay. I think that I, I was 23 when I got into that relationship and it was right when I got to Miami. I had only been in Miami for two weeks and I already had a boyfriend because that's what, that's what I wanted at the time. Like I wanted Mm -hmm. to have a fiance so bad that I didn't really, that we didn't really allow the time to actually get to know each other. And go through the normal stages that couples should go through. And it just, it didn't age well. Fair enough. (laughs) Fair enough. It did not age well. Uh, (laughs) All right. We got uh, Shaheen Brooks. Uh, For the lady next to Fresh, when a guy makes a girl do the body shaking movements, is that considered a nut or is it different? (laughs) Oh, um. Body well, shaking. I think they mean like for me when I orgasm, my body moves kind of like a snake. And it's just because I'm moving energy through because that's what an orgasm is. It's just energy inside the body. So if your body moves or shakes, then you're just literally like moving that energy up. So I think it is. It's an orgasm. If that's what the nut thing is. Yeah, it is. 
Cool. Uh, four levels, 10 bucks. Appreciate it. Uh, 20 bucks from uh, Krell's 10. Marin, for the women shooting their shot at you as a girl, try this and see their reaction scenario. The girl is shorter than you, and you reject her no matter what because she's under six feet tall. Yeah, girls will get mad about that. Bro, g- girls are not used to getting rejected, guys. You got to remember that, which is kind of funny. Uh, Gabe C., what's Nina's spot? I want you to worship my booty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. And if you guys want to see it more of that, it's uh, Nina Pineapple on Instagram, right? Yep. Nina the Pineapple on OnlyFans as well. There you go. Nina mm-hmm. the Pineapple. Uh, okay. Uh, Edgar, 20 bucks. These women are such good sports. It makes the show enjoyable to watch. Pineapple, would you be willing to be flown out? He wants to fly you out. That means he wants to smash, right? Yeah. Yeah, more than likely, yes. <laughs> no, you have to wait three months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So fly All her right. out for three months and get her a job. There you go. Uh, Bad Sattva. Uh, Alan Leo is a British Freemason and came up with the modern astrology that most women subscribe to. It has zero to do with real astrology. The way our ancestors used it. Correct. It's actually a Vedic astrologer, and I have one in India, and so it's different than what we use here in the U.S. Do you have something for that? No, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adamant about getting my sign, and now you don't care. All right. Fantastic. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, 20 bucks from Joseph S. Just showing love. Keep up the grind. We got y'all, man. Going to give you all this entertainment. And then Andrew Cardenas. If this doesn't prove astrology is BS, I don't know what does. They said Aquarius yesterday, then Pisces today. LOL. Also, yeah, that chick was being mad racist, calling you the T word in an interview, etc. The T word. I don't get it. T word. That's a T word. Was that like a typo? Narcissist. Maybe. Oh, oh. Uh, rhymes with er- errorist. If you guys yeah. know what I'm saying, that's oh. what it was. Because my parents are. Because uh, uh, I come from Muslim background. My parents are from Sudan, so that's oh. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But hey, bro, guys, it is what it is, man. We ain't even mad. We ain't going to mention her name. Don't mention her name in here, bro. No clout, no oxygen for these dumb assholes. That's just for you guys to learn. Like, that's that's what you're dealing with a lot of chicks, bro. The entitlement is real. And they can say that ridiculous shit and not really get held accountable. If y'all want me to go to the cops, let me know. Give me a one in the <laughs> chat if y'all want me to go to the police and get her for assault. But, uh, okay, with that said, Lena, uh, pineapple, pineapples expire within, within three months. <laughs> that was cute. All right. So let's play a game. For, yeah, we got. We, I got a game to play with some of the ladies. How many of you guys? I didn't get to ask you a question. Oh shit! Go ahead. Oh. Go, ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Sure. My bad. I don't know. I don't know if they've asked you this before, but um, can you guys tell us how you both lost your virginities? <gasps> oh, oh. Shit. and at what age? Yeah, like the details, like the scoop. I'll tell mine because his is 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 crazy. It was tough. Uh, prom night, eighteen years old. Okay. Simple. A uh, random cool. girl. Or was my it prom your date? date. Yeah. My prom date. Yeah. yeah, yeah you really yeah. liked yeah. it. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100 percent honest. No, not really. All right, man. I just, I just need to get rid of it. So, night in Barbados. Let's go back in time. And it's funny because uh, my stories are very unbelievable, and I told oh, they them, want me to go to cops I on that them, chick, bro. Oh, okay. They really do. They really do. <laughs> they have, okay. But uh, all right. So yeah, I'm at my cousin's party. Um, 18. I'm like a nerd playing video games. Last chaos. Wait, about, you're 18? I'm sorry. Yeah, 18. You're both right? 18, apparently. I'm playing Smash Brothers every night. My boys playing Mario Kart, getting lit, you know, playing online games. I'm not really caring about girls like that at all at school. So my cousins go to the ladies. He's um he got a UK swag going on, doing his thing. So he has a party, right? For some reason, I got invited with my friends. So we're there in the corner just chilling. And he goes up to me. He's like, yo, bro, like, this white guy wants to talk to you. I'm like, me? me like i'm like Aww. okay cool this, this is awesome right so then she comes over she's like hey my name's uh i want her name that's her name is esther right esther from from uh vancouver you know i thought you were cute i want i want to i want to go with you i'm like oh shit this is this is dope like she's asking me out so we exchanged phone numbers and uh back then they had high five on facebook so like <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny so i don't facebook and we're messaging back and forth through messenger and then the next day um you know I'm like, yo, let's chill in the evening time. She was she was free at like nighttime. So I pick her up in my grandmother's car. We go down to the beach. And mind you, it's like 10 at night, right? It's a dark, <laughs> dark as hell. I'm like, why do you want to go to the beach at, at nighttime? Like, I, I don't get it. Anyhow, so we get on to the beach. She's like, yo, park in the back, all the way in the back. I'm like, no one's there. Why are we parking all the way in the back? Like, I don't get it. Anyhow, so we go in the back and I, I park the car. She's like, turn the lights off. I turn the lights off. <laughs> and she jumps in the back seat. I'm like, yo, 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 yo are you are you okay? Like, <laughs> like what's back there? She's like, oh, I dropped my phone. Can you help me find it? I'm like, 
I guess. <laughs> so now I'm stuck, going to back seat. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so I go in the back seat and I'm like, uh, I don't see your phone. Before I know it, she pushes me like on the back seat. <laughs> Put my zipper down, starts blowing me off. I'm like, gotcha, bitch. holy shit. I'm like, this is fucking amazing. No this was great. Way. And then um it was ready to go. She just took her her, her uh her pants off, hopped on, and Give me a hell yeah. bro. I must have been too pump chump because bro, I was ready to bust. So I was like, yo, get off because I, I knew I was frick. If she said any longer, I was gonna come inside her. So I pushed her off me and you know, I didn't last very long. Long story short though, you know, we we did the activity. You know, I was very shocked because I was like, yo, this is first my first time ever. And I was happy because it felt great. But then the next day, I'm like, so actually, you know, before then, I at her home, I was like, yo, this is awesome. This is a great date. Like, I really like you. <laughs> Stupid. I love you. Stupid. Stupid. Right? So then, Marry me. So then, so then, um, Stupid. I'm like, yo, I was excited as fuck. I was like on the phone, yo, but bro, I just had sex, bro. This shit was fucking dope. <laughs> like, like, this white girl was, was crazy, bro. I, I was like, yo, I'll go for hours. Caffeine, of course, you know. Like, <laughs> anyhow, so then next day, I'm like, yo, let's, let's, let's chill again. No response. I'm like, all right, maybe she's busy, you know. Maybe she's cooling off from my, Major D, you feel me? <laughs> Stupid. Nothing. And she never responded to me after that. And in my head, I was like, yo, what did I do wrong? Denied. But that experience opened me up to like, okay, not giving more sexual because I've been through that experience. And you know, I did my thing after that, after that period of time. But I always wondered why could I never get her on a second date until now? So it's funny because I said I mentioned on Facebook maybe like uh two years ago, and she responded. And I found out why she never saw me again. She has three kids? No. I'm not. Literally, I was a pump and dump. Mind you, remember what I told you? Mm -hmm. A lot of girls come to the <laughs> islands just to like get the you know the jungle fever uh, mm -hmm. off. And they, they want to bang like a uh island guy. And I was that guy for her. Mm -hmm. And literally, like I was bad because I wasn't even good, a good like pump and dump. I think it was a <laughs> two pump chump and I was gone. So for her to talk to me again made no sense. But like I said before, my body count going up is because I figured out as, as tourists come to the islands, they want to have that jungle fever, uh, you know, uh, met. So in certain areas in the islands, they always come to the party, get lit. So I knew if I go over there, it's a wrap. And so that's so sad, so done. And that kind of oh, yeah! started my sexual journey, so to speak. So you're saying to buy real estate in the islands? I was going to say all these men. I'm saying real estate islands, right? If you're from the islands, you know what time it is. Like Jamaica, Barbados, Bahamas. I'm an island boy. boy. Yeah. That's what I was singing. I'm an island boy. boy. Hey, I'm buying real estate islands, guys. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so fresh, you, you, when are you going to come back and hit her with the Me Too accusation? <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's funny, man. Yeah, man. It's if, been my... it, if I did that, bro, I'd be in trouble. Yeah, so, yeah, you'd be, you be done. Man. I feel like she, like she, uh, great me, bro. She probably did, cause I, I no idea what, what was going on. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When you like first said that she pulled out your dick and just started doing that, I was like, yeah, that yeah. gave me like vibes. Like, bro, it like felt, the it felt good though. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so like, what about cool. Chris? What, Chris, me? yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, bro? Uh, first time I've, I've lost my virginity. Um, mm -hmm. it's been in college. I was in college at a party. Butter. Yeah, I was in the, I was in college at a party, and um, I ain't gonna lie. In college, I was very um, you know, just I was talking to all the girls and stuff like that. They and understood then, you. Yeah, of course it did. So long story short, uh, I went to a party. Stop the cap. <laughs> so How old were you? I was like twenty. I believe 20 late bloomer yeah because yeah, I, was, I was always busy i was always a nerd um i play i, I was always, always to myself and long story short i went to a party um had a good t you know just turn up uh, with people i knew and then um I'm, i saw this girl she was like you know hot island girl i think she was bahamian and uh all right cool what's up i saw you were on school you look good you got some nice lips some big hips i'm like Get over here! yep i'm like all right so uh what's next so i'm, I'm touching her you know grabbing her and she was older than me, of course. She was, I think she was like 25 or 24. Long story short. Uh she horny <laughs> nigga detective. She, horny nigga detective. You gotta say, like this party was was in a dormitory, right? So the this dormitory had like at least uh what I think two, like two and two. So she pushed me into this room, right? 
here we go. And okay. this room had like oh, like a balcony. Yeah, <laughs> Both of y'all niggas is getting it. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> no, so wait, 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 hold on. Hey man, stuttering niggas, we winning. No, so she pushed me into this room, right? I'm like, all right, so what's going on? And she pulls up my pants. And then someone like behind us was like, oh, what's, what's, what's going on? <laughs> so someone was in the bedroom. So, oh, oh. so we're like, all right, you know what? We like, we have to get out of here. Long story short, her, her, her sister and her, her sister's boyfriend drove us to, sorry, mom, it's, uh, sorry, it's what it is, but you, I can say right now, long story short, uh, we went to my place when I was living with my parents in college, uh, and, and I was 21, 20 and, uh, that was out of it was out of the house and we had some you know some fun and um slept over and it was a uh, you know it was a thing so yeah there you go all right that was a that was a Tell terrible story, story bro Myron, story, yeah. did you and your prom date have sex at prom no no after Okay. It was after. It was after the 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 prom. We I had like got a little hotel and shit. I used like my credit card. My first credit card that I ever got was eighteen years old. So you guys are late bloomers. Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I look at them today. <laughs> All right. Stop it, still late bloomers. <laughs> still still figuring it out. But uh, but yeah, no. Um, damn, Chris, you didn't lose your virginity till you're twenty one. Yeah, uh, twenty uh, yeah. because yeah, I mean, I'm, trust me, like back then, it's like, bro, it's like I was so busy that. Like girls with one thing, but nigga said, "Yeah, I was so busy." But, but yeah. they didn't understand you, bro. That's what it was. Probably. <laughs> you, 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 you want to f- 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 fuck? Nah, but you, <laughs> I mean, you gotta understand. In high school, I was, I was playing sports. I was on track. Yeah. Bro, I had no idea how to navigate through women. Like when I had a girlfriend, bro, like to meet with her, I'm like, "All right, cool." Here's Friday. Here's Friday afternoon. And then afterwards, I thought, okay, it's Friday afternoon. And then Monday was the next time I was able to see her. But I never really thought the weekend was a thing. Because I was always in sports, my my you know I was raised you know by you know my, a strict you know grandparent, so I was like I had to go home, do what I gotta do. I was a nerd. Hey, listen, this is what it is. But uh, and and when you're in Miami, bro, these girls in in Opalaka, bro, you see Opelaka. them, yeah, bro, you see them walking around the streets. You don't do not want to touch them. <laughs> I was I was 22 when I lost my B card. 22. 20. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So you... I was I was I was. 19, I believe. I was 17, I guess. 17? Oh, in Venezuela, right? In Venezuela. Okay, make make that apparent. Oh, yeah. yeah. In Venezuela, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what about you? 18. At the fair? Yeah. (laughs) Really? (laughs) No. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) What about you? I was 14. God damn. Uh, TMI. Okay. That's early. Wait, what? I was 15. TMI. Oh shit! All right, moving on. <laughs> it's different in the islands. That's all I can say. Yeah, it is. I, I was yeah. in love. At sixteen, you, you could drink alcohol. Whatever. It's different in Venezuela. Partying. You're, you're partying from like 15, 16. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I wanted to okay, have sex with my husband, but he didn't turn out to be my husband. Funny, wow. funny story. I lived in <laughs> a <laughs> in a small town, so my the guy that I uh, lost my virginity with is now my best friend boyfriend. And we had a threesome. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wow. shit. So, what? You mean a train. <laughs> choo, choo. <laughs> so in that That's case, a train. Yeah. Okay. For the Venezuelan train. I like that. <laughs> Wait, the, two, the Maracaibo two, Express. Two guys? They got trains? Somewhere? What? Two guys and one girl? No, two girls and one guy. Oh. Yeah. That's not a train. Oh. Yeah, thought, but that's not a train. Oh, oh I, thought you said, I thought it was two guys. Wait, what? Wait, no. where? Your best friend. You said your best friend. You had sex with a guy, and he. The, your... I had the guy, sex with the had... guy, and now, like my best friend, now the girlfriend. So, oh. Okay, you get it now. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, it makes sense now. You're a terrible explainer, but it's okay. <laughs> I got no. you. Sorry. <laughs> I just got a text from Conceited. He said, "Come to uh, Mr. Jones and bring the girls." Oh shit! Conceited, where you at, bro? Yeah, where you at, Conceited? Uh, all right. So, uh, I'll read these things real quick. Um, Joseph S. Just show in love. Keep up the grind. Thank you so much. Shout out to Conceited, by the way, guys. Uh, Angel Cardenia is 20 bucks. If this don't prove us... Oh, no, I read that one. My run file My run file assault charges to that bit. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. So just real quick for the ladies. Do you guys think it's easy for men to get girls? Um. Yes, you definitely do. I know you do. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I think you so. think so? Yeah. No. I think so. It's a numbers game. Mm-hmm. No. No. All right. So for the sex coach, 
Yeah. This is what we're going to do. We're going to play a little bit of a game, okay? Okay. Something you guys have probably never seen before. Well, the, the supporters have seen it, but... I want to play a game. <laughs> so, I'm going to make you the guy. Okay. And me, me Chris, or Fresh is going to be the girl. Okay. I'm Freshina. He's Marina. That's Christina. <laughs> wait, yeah. what, wait, what are the names again? <laughs> Freshina. Freshina. Marina, Marina, Marina and Christina. And Christina. And Christina. And Christina. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my God, girl. So uh, I'm I want though. you to pick the venue. But okay. how are you going to meet the girl? You have one week to get laid and you cannot pay for the sex. How are you going to Okay. Do? One week to get laid. I can't pay for the sex. Yes. Okay. What are you going to do? And you're a guy now. Okay. What is like, what type of guy? How tall? How much money do I make? What do I look like? What's my dick size? We will, we will, <laughs> we will, we will give you the, the, the absolute best of them all we whatever okay. you want to make yourself six eight ten inches plus i make a hundred <laughs> sure okay so make, okay uh, where are you gonna meet the girl um i'm gonna meet her someplace where she feels like safe okay so pick it. so uh a restaurant a few miles from her house do you want me to say name a specific spot yes yeah um i don't know if y'all would know these places around uh let me think like we'll just say like california pizza kitchen it's just chill okay so you're gonna meet her at California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. That's okay. Chill. What is she gonna be doing? What is she like? She's gonna meet me at the day. She's gonna be sitting there across the booth from me. Okay. Oh. So you're just gonna randomly walk in and talk to her. Oh, oh no. you want me to plan the whole day? Okay. Yeah, I see. No. What yeah, saying. we're talking about. Plan, okay. Got from it. meeting her. All right. I got it. I got it. Okay, it can be here's... Instagram. It can be in person. Got it. Got it. Got it. I understand the game now. So, so what would you do? I'm on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm on California time, so I'm a little tired, but I'm trying uh, to step up with the program here. All right. So you're forty. Chris, I was gonna send you some crystals too, so Yo, no more. Go. All right, all right. So anyway, all right, go ahead. I was having sex all night. All right, now just like, all right. So what I'm gonna do? First of all, I'm gonna call you. Well, and, where are you gonna meet the person? Though? Where are you gonna meet? The well, girl? I'm gonna tell you right okay. now. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna get your number, obviously, and then I'm gonna shoot you No, no, you a text. no. We're gonna go from the beginning. How are you gonna get the number? How are you gonna meet her to oh, get the number? Oh, how am I gonna yeah. meet the girl? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna meet her online because everyone's online these days. What 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 site? Um, we'll just say like in my DMs. DMs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So All you're right. gonna send an Instagram DM? Yeah. What All you right. gonna say? What you gonna say? I'm gonna say something to the to the point of like I'm not gonna tell you you're attractive because you already know that. And then she'll be like, oh, no, whatever. Oh no, right. don't worry. Oh, I'm gonna act okay, it out okay, for okay. you. Okay. So All go right. ahead. What are you gonna say? All right. I'm the girl. Okay. okay. So okay. I'm gonna start with that. Then you're gonna you're gonna what reply. Are you gonna say? I'm gonna say exactly what I just said. Hey. I know you get DMs all day about telling you how hot you are, but I'm not going to tell you that. Left on scene. Now what are you going to do? Left on scene? <laughs> no, I would respond to I that. Would, I would have left. I was going to say, what are you going to tell me? All right, well, you get left on scene. What are you going to do now? We'll leave you on scene. Oh, you're going to leave me on scene. Yep. Which now what are you going to do? Now? Okay. Um, I'm going to just, okay, I'm going to be direct. Okay. I'm going to say, you know what? DM is for creepy guys anyway. So let's do this. <laughs> if, let's do this for real. And then I'm no, go ahead. Continue. Okay. DMs for creepy guys anyways. Let's do this for real. I'm going to double tap like it. Okay. Good. I'm going to say, all right, Um, give me your number. Well, uh, I'm not going to say, say, give me your number. I'm going to say, since I proved I'm not a creep, let's take this offline. Do you, um, How about give me your number and I'll I'll, t I'll shoot you a call. Uh, I'll, I'm going to say, uh, I want to talk on here. Uh, I I feel want to feel more comfortable. GG. I want to talk on here more. GG. GG. Okay. G -G. Look at that. Okay. Um, now what are you gonna say? Okay, so from there I'm gonna say, um, let me see. Well, oh, let's say okay, I got it. All right, I'm gonna just small talk a little bit, just a little what bit. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say, um, I need the exact sentence okay, of what okay, you're gonna okay. say, because I'm gonna give you probable yeah, answers. Yeah, I'm no, not no. even, and some of the girls have even said it. I do that too. Like I'm yeah, not yeah, even yeah. gonna give you a hard I got time. It, I got it. I'm gonna just ask, um, ask them like, what it is you do for work? Tell me something, and tell me something fascinating about yourself. Student student oh cool what are you studying psychology tell me something about psychology i don't know it's hard <laughs> well with it being hard then it looks like you could use some kind of something to get your mind off of it like when's the last time you've had someone buy you a nice dinner at your favorite restaurant uh it's been a while okay cool now we're getting somewhere um <laughs> can you use money you already lost I can't use money. No, no, she can. Oh, I was not like, okay. We're talking about to not buy to, sex. No, okay. to take yeah. her on a dinner. Pay, yeah. To pay directly. Okay. Right. Well, um, so I know you don't feel comfortable with me yet, but I would like to take you up on that offer and buy you a meal and hear more about psychology. Okay. My right. favorite restaurant is where are we? Are we in Miami? Yeah, just say Miami. 
All right, I want to go to Salt Bay, Nusseret. I don't know what that is, but okay, I'll play. The Salt Bay Salt guy. Bay. Salt Bay, that guy with yeah. like Sheesh. thousands of dollars. Is yeah. it a lot of money? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bitch, this is a bit stack. Okay. Um, what are you going to say to that? I say, yeah, I'll, I'll go to Salt Bay's restaurant. I want to go there. Okay. Well, I'm not familiar with that place, but I'm new to Miami. So I'm going to take you to a spot that's equally as good. And um, you're going to love it. You asked me where I want to go. That's where I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Very good one. Well, Variety is the spice of life. And why don't you let me show you a good time? You can just relax and let me make the decisions for once. You've got a lot to do already with school and you're thinking a lot. So trust me on this one. I got you. I'm going to take care you of you. You asked me where I wanted to go. <laughs> oh my God. If I, if I text a girl like this, I will fucking... I don't know. Left it in red. What the fuck? And I'm even responding to the yeah, stupidity. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like... Like most of the girls aren't even going to take take it this far with you, and, no, and even the girls at the table are like, well, "What? This game is trash." Hell no. You want to hold L on this one? Do I want to what now? You're gonna hold L on this one and try again, or what? Um, not as easy as you thought, huh? Well, no, it's not because girls are always having something to come back. But again, it depends on if she likes you or not. If she likes you, she's gonna say yes no matter no, what yeah. it is. Not necessarily. Mm. Girls are still gonna give you bullshit like that all the time, even but not like that. Attractive. They're but gonna not, try, not but that bad. If a guy, then not that bad. Because yeah. remember, you met her off Instagram. She don't know you. That's that's true. So it takes a minute to build rapport. You have to find commonality, which I was trying to do. Yeah. But um, she don't know you. Yeah, that's true. But on in, and then you're like leading with a restaurant date. Like, pick where you want to go, and I'll take you to your favorite restaurant. Like, yo, you lost the moment she said to you, "Let's get, let's just stay on the app." Well, yeah, exactly. Because the point is to get off the app, which most guys fail at that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that one. Good try, good try, good try. Yeah. You want to try again? Or, is, or does anyone else want to give this a shot? No, I don't it's, want to. You're I mean, too hard. <laughs> what the this fuck? Is, yeah, I, I'm okay, not on my, ladies, I'm not did, on my did I give game. probable responses that you would give in a situation no. if a guy hit you up randomly on Instagram like that? Hell no. If I like him, if hell you no. Like, if you like if him, you're like, going to say yes. Responses as if he was ugly as hell. Exactly. Yeah. You're because giving him like, that's how you don't real. like him. Most guys that put you are not going to be your type. So you're going to say no. But if, they, that, but, but if are, they are, I'm gonna say it's on yes. Instagram, bro. Like most girls are gonna be like, "What the fuck? Like who's this nigga?" Like, but yeah. if I like, I've <laughs> got guys on Instagram that I've liked and yeah. smashed. Yeah. But I like them. That's the key word, though. Wait, yeah. and, and and question. Uh, didn't you say, Miss uh, Louisiana, that you want a guy to know you more than just like looks? So, like, how would a guy <laughs> that just now gets to know you and want to smash for a week? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like one <laughs> one thing he would say oh, would shit. easily disqualify him, right? Correct. What? I'm not understanding what you're saying to me. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. One thing, right? A guy can disqualify himself just one sentence, and you're like, you know what? This nigga ain't shit. Okay, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I was just being nice with you, but you fucked up so many times, like <laughs> on, on that. So who else wants to try being a guy? You think getting you, pro a date? you proved your point? <laughs> you prove your point? point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. live it there. Yeah, I, I, and this is online. We haven't even done in the club. Or at a beach or on a mall, whatever you want to do. But if you like the guy, Correct. you're not going to be matter. like that. It doesn't Hell matter no. what they say. Uh -uh. It really doesn't. Uh -uh. I do agree with her on that. Listen, if you ladies. like a guy, even if they say something crazy, yeah. you're still going to go for it because you like the guy. No, you're, you're going to play games. So, even girls that, even if a girl likes you, she's still no, going to play. She, it, she's going to play games to some degree. So, so, she so, didn't so, say so, anything so, wrong. She was so, trying hold hard. Hold like, Let's say we give, you, we give you that option that you like the guy. How many guys do you like that hit you up out of 100? Mm. Well, that's the thing. It's a numbers game. It's not that many. Exactly. Yeah. So he's giving you the odds of you don't like him. Okay. Or he doesn't like you. Or she doesn't like you. Oh, for it. Not only that, girls reject guys that they find attractive all the time. Like, no. You know, they play hard to get. I, I don't, but I don't play what games. The fuck? I'm just I'm just like, real. Okay. and I'm shocked that you remember, do because you're ladies, so ladies, trying to on, be authentic. Ladies, 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 ladies. I... You got to remember that just because it's what you do, doesn't yeah. necessarily mean most what girls most girls are going to do. Like, That's yeah. true. There are plenty of girls out there that reject guys that they find attractive all the fucking time just yep. because. They want to see what you got. Yeah. So you can't use like your, you don't reject guys. No, that you I'm, find like, I'm like thinking like, okay. Take Have it, you rejected guy, a guy they found cute before? Yeah. <laughs> but he was lame, like personality wise. Mm -hmm. He's cute. Okay. But, but proves my point. Exactly. And she was being lame just now. I'll take you to your favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you go, uh, <laughs> so, all right. Well, well uh, nobody else want, wants to try. That's what I would want to hear. Because you said, it, no, you said it would be easy. So, how would you do it? 
I'm the guy. Yep. Okay. You're the guy for a week. You can't pay for the sex. How are you going to meet the girl? Instagram, club, mall. What are you going to do? We're going to be at the beach. <laughs> you triggered my trap card. All right. So let's see. It's a wrap for you. <laughs> Give me a shot. All right. Uh, I got. A, I'm gonna show y'all that I got some microphones in here. I got a new game that I play with y'all. Yeah, let me get get in there real fast. No, 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 not that microphone. Thank you, though, Nina. All right, guys. So we're gonna act this shit out right here. Wait, what? You yeah. got props? I yeah. didn't sign up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Too late now. Too late now. Okay. You said it was easy. <laughs> yeah. What up? Uh, at 16 Who said it was easy? 16 15. <laughs> I right. did, apparently, and now I'm paying for Oh, it. shit. Okay. All right. Well, can you uh, tell them what's going on here? All right. So we're going to do a role play here. Basically, you're going to have Myron as the uh, marina and the <laughs> lovely lady here as the guy. There you go. And she's going to approach him at the be- her at go the ahead. beach. Yep. How she yep. could approach, you know, to get a lay within a week. Oh, so I it's the first um, encounter. <laughs> we're going to yeah, go ahead it. and... You got to stand on it now. So we got Marina and um, (laughs) Justin Timberlake, I guess. Why would you play me like that? (laughs) I'm just saying. Not JT. My name's Devon. All right, Devon. (laughs) Devante. All right, Devon. Devon, Devante. All right, cool. So uh, we got sound mode? Chat? Okay. So, okay. So I'm the girl. How do you want to do this? Am I coming out the water? I'm going to give you the snow. No, you're like chilling on your towel on the beach. All right, cool. So I'm chilling on my towel at the beach. And I'm with my friends, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, Chris, you going to be... Or actually, no. Fresh, fresh, fresh Nina is going to be next to me. At, uh, Chris, at, your hair, nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to check on the beach? <laughs> nah. This is dreads, though. Bro. Okay, exactly. whatever. That's how it looks. All right. So this, this is me. We're, we're at the beach, right? So we're, we're lying on our towels. <laughs> Myrina and Freshina. So, <laughs> so we, 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 li- we lying, right? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> how are you gonna approach us? We're 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 okay. guests on. You got some music on. Yeah, we got, you got music on. We're on the beach. At yep. the beach. Yep. So I'm gonna be like, "Hey, I like the music you're listening to." Oh, hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you today? <laughs> Good. Just hanging out, with my friend. Oh, for okay. Sheena. <laughs> for Sheena. <laughs> I see there's some drinks on the beach. Do you want anything? Uh, I mean, we're good for now, but you might want to drink later. Can I get me a, a tequila on the rocks? <laughs> you heard it. Okay, I got you. You want anything? You're good. Oh, uh, I'm good right now. I got my little Corona, but I'll probably need one later. Drink later. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm right down there. Okay. Whenever you're ready for a drink. Cool. Thanks. He got food. <laughs> I'm hungry. You got food? Nah, bitch, I ain't got food. <laughs> hey, don't talk to my friend like that. Who you talking to, bitch? <laughs> the fuck? Who's niggas this? You don't gotta say that. So yeah. <laughs> Devon, right, you're trying to date this quick. girl. All right, all right, all right. Real, no, no, no. Real talk. So okay. Besides the the, the calling her, uh, uh, calling each other bitches, um, <laughs> they're calling Devon bitch and the Marina uh, uh, Freshina bitch. All right. So yeah. So I'm uh So I'm gonna just say okay. Yeah. Maybe maybe later I'll have a drink. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go back. Okay, so you're gonna go back to your with your boys. Yeah. And then what do you are you gonna get her the tequila on the rocks that she wanted? Yeah, I am. You are. So you're gonna come back with the drink. Yeah. All right, and then what? I'm so you come wait, back with though. the drink. I'm gonna wait though. I'm okay. not gonna bring How it back long? right away. Like I'm gonna give it like 30, maybe 40 minutes. Because I I did say I was gonna come back. Okay. Now what? You come back. I'm like, here you go, Freshina. Take your tequila on the rocks. It's about time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't checking for you. <laughs> Come on, man! Don't look too hard on her, bro. Damn, man! I wasn't checking Thanks. for you. Nigga going, Thank you. Going, Thank you. <laughs> what are you guys doing later? Are you visiting? You live here? Oh, we actually got uh, we got invited to a table at um, live later on. Oh, that sounds nice. Good yeah. for you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Promoters, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what are you doing after live? Do you need to eat before that? Uh well we had a dinner plan with some friends uh that we're gonna go to, um and that's in a couple hours but you know we're chilling right now. Okay, so you are in town. You're visiting. Yeah, well uh, we we live here. You live here? Yes. Okay, so you're used to this already. Yeah. Okay. Miami's cool. I've been I've been here for like three months. I just moved here. So then just let me know, like, uh, you got money? 
Make it too hard for her. All right, go ahead. For Sheena. For Devon. All right, go ahead. So you already know. Get over it, bitch. Like, you know, Trying to smash. I, like, I want to get to know you better. Okay. Um. So what are you going to say? You're saying I, you want to get to know, know me if better. You're interested. Yeah. If I'm interested. Oh, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of finding myself. You know, I, I I haven't really been going out on dates. I'm just like healing. <laughs> And Wait, you know, how old are you? I'm 22. Oh, these are triggering words and ages. Uh, I'm gonna switch it up. I don't know if I want this no more. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> and scene. And and then and then you're done. Yeah. I'm done. Oh yeah, young girls. No offense. Is not the vibe. Well, here's the thing. You got to remember, guys like young girls though. Yeah. I need you to step out the being a woman for a second. <laughs> Men want young girls, and that's what young girls. This is the the, the typical. Like situations you're gonna encounter. Well, then that's how you're not. Also, you know, you want to know where you fucked up. You didn't even introduce yourself. You didn't give your name. You didn't say <laughs> anything about yourself. You didn't ask me my name. You just were like mm-hmm. immediately I mean, like, oh, uh, y'all want a drink? And then my friend was like, yeah, I guess I'm tequila on the rocks. You don't know this bitch, and you went and got it for her anyway. That's when you came back. She didn't respect you, you like that. Easy as fuck, <laughs> fresh. That's I mean, how they I'm be I'm a Christina, <laughs> you're a hoe. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Now it's I'm not a dick, so I mean, it doesn't matter. Did you say earlier it was easier to get girls? I mean, so- I told you it was easier to get girls, but I said it was a numbers game for guys. It is true. Like you hit, you hit enough girls, you are gonna get laid. I made that specifically clear. But she did. No, but it you said true. it's easy. It is not easy. Because you're gonna deal with bullshit easy. like this all the time. It's you didn't even give your name. You didn't even introduce yourself. Bro, you didn't build how any many attraction. Girls do guys talk to in like a day, average. Mm. But you didn't build any attraction at all. You There's just immediately said, "I'll buy you a drink." You don't even know it. Because that's I'll what buy uh, you a drink. that doesn't work. Cool. It, I know it doesn't work. So I why'd you do it? it? Because that's what you guys do. <laughs> no, we don't. Like that's what it. That's what it is. I'm doing what you guys do. I'm reciprocating what I'm giving. Yeah. You. Yeah, we're only giving you what probably exactly. Hold on, hold on. How do you want me to? Yeah, give but you smash though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the whole premise we had, we said, hey, is it easy to get girls? A couple of y'all were like, yes, okay, show us how. No. And then we put you guys as the guy, right? And then we acted like girls. I didn't even give y'all really like hard objections. I gave you guys like how women operate, what they say, normal shit, and y'all don't know what to do. It is not as easy as you guys think is what you guys what I'm trying to say. Okay, and again, my disclaimer is I said yes, it's easy because it's a numbers game for guys. Yeah, you hit up enough girls. That's true. The fact Someone... that it's a numbers game inherently makes it hard. Exactly. That's the that's I mean, the, you that's guys the, don't the, mind the sport though. No, no, I they mean, really do mind. Yeah, we'd mind. You guys mind the sport of it? Only about you, you do realize like a small percentage of men are actually sexually active, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know about no, she don't know. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so only only about like. 10 to 20% of the guys are smashing like 80% of the girls. Most guys fail with this. Think about it. We, we got like, what, 7,000 plus people watching us live right now. There's no podcast out there teaching girls how to get laid. Hi. But there's plenty of podcasts teaching guys how to get laid. Why? It's difficult, man. It's difficult because now you guys, we put you guys, literally, you're a woman. You know what uh, is attractive to, to women, right? And you failed miserably just now. And I gave you very probable answers that a girl would give. I'm healing and I'm going through trauma and all this bullshit okay, that girls be saying. You gave me a 22-year-old's answer. Again, no offense to the But that's yes. what men go after. All right. Okay. That's the reality. Right. There guess. we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you go after 22-year-old men? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Because they're they're useless, right? They don't provide certain utility to you. Yeah. Okay. Well, older women are useless to men. They don't provide certain utility to us. Okay. We'll agree to disagree on that one. I mean, take the L. I mean, this is this is a fact. No, I'll take the L. I'll gladly. Yeah, take yeah the like L. like this this is a biological fact. Men they they surveyed men between eighteen and sixty years old. Universally, they wanted women between eighteen to twenty four years old. They found them the most attractive. Universally, men between eighteen to sixty. That's it's been that way since the beginning of time. Men like younger women. It is what it is. Just like you guys want older men that are more mature. All right. I guess. Good. Good. You you want to try again or you yeah, hold the cell? It was hard, right? All right. Yeah. All right. Who else wants to try being uh, a guy and getting a woman? You are too hard as a woman. <laughs> Bruh, this is how girls be responding. Come on, I'm not going mm, too hard. Hell no. See, 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 I, see, thought, see, I thought you were pretty accurate. Yeah, this is accurate <laughs> shit. All right. All right, let's do super chats and then Nina, last. to hold the L. No. No. Okay. Let's... Fine. No, 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 no. If you if you don't want to do it, you don't got to do it. Oh. You want to well, do it? it. Oh she shit. This. Okay. How are you? How are we meeting? Hi, Marina. We're meeting at Brickle Key. You're walking hero. Okay, I'm wa- 
Okay, oh, so shit. I'm, I'm the girl walking a dog. Yeah. Okay. Very funny. And, and you're gonna walk up to me. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm walking my dog. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna walk by you. I want to see how you would stop me. Okay, I'm gonna walk the dog, and you you can come the the length is long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk here on this on the sidewalk. I want to see how you would stop me. Oh my God, Dodge Coin! <laughs> That's such a cute dog. Thank you. Can I pet your doggy? Oh, can I pet your doggy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try that one more time. <laughs> you're a man seeing like, like so you're all right. so you're a grown ass man you so you want to pet another man's doggy? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pet your dog. Yeah. No, a girl's doggy? Doggy. Okay, That's so weird. I'm walking a dog. Honestly, what would you do? Oh, what kind of dog is that? Oh, it's a Shiba. Oh, so cute. Can I pet it? Uh, okay. So cute. What's the name? Hero. What you asking? Uh, he's he's a puppy. He's like four. So cute. He's so nice. How long have you had him for? I've had him for a year. A year? I adopted him. <laughs> what shelter did you find him at? Uh, my friend gave it to me. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not talking like this. Nigeriascammers.com. Oh, okay. Um, what, so where'd you get him? I told you my friend gave him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know if your friend has other uh, doggies that look like Hero? Uh. No, he was the only one. <laughs> I gotta get going though. It was nice to meet you. Do you okay, bye. Do you always Done. Walk him around That's a wrap. Here? That's a wrap. <laughs> you lost. Because you, 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 you're like, you're too focused on the dog. That, uh-huh. that was tra- too focused on the dog. No, because I have a doggy, and that's how guys always approach me. Yeah, they but draw out the conversation that much. Yeah, because they don't yeah, know what they're yeah, doing. Where, where can I get hold like your dog? Like what? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like the Miami Dade talk. shelter. And then and you, you actually sit there and keep talking. Yeah. To you walk away. Come and on, you're man. asking what you're still saying. Yeah, yeah but they're yeah, smashing up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You smash yeah. exactly what you do. Exactly what I just did just now. I gotta get going. <laughs> All right, do you Nina. smash him? Uh, if, if Nina was a dude, she'd be done, bro. Yeah, she'd be done. Can I put your doggy? <laughs> yeah, I said yeah, and then I'm walking away. Yeah. All right, it's Nina a, has no guy either. Does, and, does he shed a lot? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Anybody else want to try, or that's it? No, that's, that's it. it. Okay, that's that's it. Good. We're gonna, gonna do, give them the fail button. Like, yeah, you were yeah, a, yeah, yeah, gotcha. okay? a great girl. You're a great girl, Irina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we're gonna do, we're gonna super chats and yeah. the last thoughts on the show. So uh, bring these up, Chris. Uh, let's refresh it. Uh, ladies, good sports, by the way. Yeah, good, good show today. Uh, everybody. yeah, good L's. On the we show. got <laughs> feminine truth 20 um pounds here. Women can only reject men when they're in their early years, when they lose their SMV at 40 plus, which means sexual, sexual marketless value. Men will start to friend zone them. Great show, FNF. I haven't been friend zoned. Well, <laughs> I mean, who Misha McCoy 20 bucks says, finally called the podcast live. I don't go a day without watching and listening to the shows. Y'all be laying the logic down on these girls having the hard combos. No, today was a good conversation, man. Good. Uh, a, a very, very high IQ conversation with some uh, lovely ladies. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, you know, Miss uh, New Orleans is a little delusional. Like, what? Gonna manifest that guy, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So, it manifests Turkey that legs. bitch. I'm a strong woman. I'm a Nina, strong. Andrew, uh, Karayuki, I wasn't ready for how thick Shorty was in the red top. Yeah, there she was go. thinking on uh, camera seven. Oh, Nina? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Show, uh, oh, yeah. Ch- Nina, you want you want to show? She be doing some squats, yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She be doing. The, she be yeah. yeah. She be she be working on Face her right. on the glutes. No, no, you know what right, I'm right. I turn around, Nina. Come on. Bow. There, you there you go. go. Bow. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Wait. Wait. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, there, Chris was too slow, bro. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm still looking for a husband. Yeah. Bro. Not like that. Bro. Not like that. Bro. Okay. So will get that shit. Yeah, no, she's in good shape, guys. She be she be working out. You guys can see she Thank has developed the uh, abs and stuff, and she got a nice butt. So she be in the gym. Yeah. Um a little She's short though, but you know. Um, let's see. Well, how tall are you, Nina? Because I know they're gonna want to know. I'm four eleven. There you go. What? She's four eleven. She's four eleven, like a hundred pounds. Are you even you probably under hundred pounds? I'm like ninety eight right now. God damn. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Ninety eight. Yeah, uh, 98 pounds. Uh, okay. Little bot, 10 hours. Always good to see Nina. She's so unbearably cute, and her smile and laugh mm. are adorable. Mm. If she doesn't mind, I'd like to, I'd like her to blow a couple of kisses into the mic with those beautiful red lips. Okay. <laughs> they love that <laughs> shit. Does that all the time. All right. 
Any anybody else uh, or any other chats? No, we good. All right, cool. All right, so we'll do last um, last thoughts. Yeah, here. last thoughts from the ladies. How was the show? You can tell us how much you hate us. It's okay. <laughs> no, it was enlightening. I learned, you know, something new about you both every day. I learned that Myron doesn't think women's orgasms matter. So I learned what a uh, what's it called again? A yomi? A yoni. A yoni. A yoni. A yoni. I learned I learned, learned what a yoni is. And there's eleven forms have... of orgasm for women. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah. That oh, was no. like seriously like it doesn't matter. But I learned. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I have a fours. What, what what is this? Uh, Dragon Ball Z? Like, there's eleven different types of orgasms women can have. So. That's, that's bullshit. But no, it's no, it's actually cool. Um, this is great to be. On no, the that's show. true. That's true. Yeah, no, I but I, I did learn besides yeah. all the all the rock uh, quotes. It, it was actually entertaining, and and I did I didn't know that Yoni and eleven orgasms, guys. So Wait. just remember that. Explore, fellas. The, explore. Theofactors.com. Oh. So yeah. Cool. Fantastic. I always love being here. I always learn something new. Um, I learned a little too much about you. God damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and well, Fresh. God. Um, <laughs> no comments about that. Wait, what? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Wait. But whatever. I'm confused, though. What? Yeah, you what? missed it. You were in the bathroom. Oh, you missed it. You were in the bathroom. Too bad, nigga. I'm so sorry. <laughs> in, in your you butter. can watch Wait, it chat, again uh, if you want. Can you uh, say it in the chat? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, but it was so fun. I always have fun with you guys. That's it. <laughs> cool. You're always a good guest. So happy to have you. Yeah. What about you? New Orleans. She like, fuck y'all niggas. I'm never coming back. <laughs> nah, I, I really enjoyed myself. Um, I enjoyed the combo, even though y'all kept coming for me about my little fair. <laughs> my little fair hey, date. <laughs> You're gonna so, get your fair somebody date. gonna take me to the fair. <laughs> who who who? Hey y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone's gonna DM you, I'll take you to the fair. Yeah, they worry. really will. Somebody, somebody, yeah. somebody I'm gonna be sure like, I'll take you to the fair. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm really good though, but I enjoyed myself. <laughs> All right. Hey y'all. <laughs> Nina. So today I learned that if I was a guy, I would be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I love being on the show. It's always a great time. I ain't gonna lie, Nina. You are a creepy ass dude. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. Why you ask these questions. I <laughs> also, I <laughs> also learned that I never date a. A uh, girl as Marina. What the fuck? <laughs> That's how a lot of girls. Yo, I was taking it easy on you guys. Can yeah. I get a dog? Like, <laughs> yo, yeah, like, yeah. Even you were like, what the hell? Hey, yo, real talk. Uh, like the beach, bro. Girls do that. Oh yeah, get me a tequila, whatever, yeah. nigga. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like, that should be happening, bro. He got money. Entitled. Yeah, entitled. Yeah, man, that should be happening. Like, for real. But yeah, this show is amazing, and I love coming back. It's always good to Shout have you, you Nina. Thank you, guys. Oh, uh, thanks, chat between Fresh and uh, Venezuela. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right, Aruba, what about you, a.k.a. Devon? I did not know what I was to Fresh. expect, but I did have a good time. And uh, I realized <laughs> <laughs> that girls have it way more easier than guys. But good for us, because we have to do a lot more shit out here, too. Wait, what? I learned that girls have it a lot more easier than guys. It's true, though. Yeah, it is. But we got to do a lot more shit than you guys do in this world. So I think it like balances yeah. out. Yeah. We get do, the short in the yeah. stick. Do exactly. more like what though? Like Yo. orgasms, having birth. Exactly. Like, have you birthed a child? No. I mean, well, that's yeah. it. That, that's if you have kids. Though, that's so. if you have kids. You, you can't really use that as that. But have you ever got your period? Exactly. Like yeah. even a period, dude. That's a lot. Ooh. But I mean, just dealing with a girl like every day is a period with a guy. <laughs> and so. Oh, what the fuck? I roll. So I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess you could say it, it could be difficult in different ways, but like when it comes to like dating and the mating process in general, like yeah. it is far more difficult for men than it is for women. It is. It, it is. is. It is. So yeah. I mean, I think that's kind of the foundation. If you are uh, Marina, for sure. Exactly, for sure. Yeah. Marina. Bro, yo, you, you know what the scary part is, guys? I took it easy on you guys. Normally, they're like. How come you guys just don't you give think up? you think Marina's hard, but Freshie Freshie is even worse. Yeah, yeah, even, I, didn't even, I didn't even give y'all Christina. Yo, oh yeah, ho. Freshie, she you was just Christina. Christina. They, they she was all all that shit together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like the nice white girl. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, politely. These Frisina, two are like, white nigga. like, stop, Chris. I'm like, all right, all right, nigga. You got some money, nigga. Freshie was like, get me a drink on. I'm done. I'm leaving. Hey, trust me. You have not met Christina yet, bro. Like. Man, yeah. <laughs> do not meet Christina. <laughs> yeah, Christina is the worst. Yeah, I'm a gold Christina. digger, nigga. <laughs> I want to see Christina. Right. Nah, you want to nah. want to try with Christina? I want to see Christina nah. as well. No, yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah, try though. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, so, yeah you don't want to take. <laughs> I'm that. afraid. <laughs> uh, okay, what about you? 
Um, actually, this has been like the most or the best one I've enjoyed so far. Oh, really? So, yeah, I had a good time. I actually learned a few things, especially from you. The first time she was uh, triggered, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, no, it's always a pleasure for sure. Uh, I love, you know, I love debating, but I love being able to have like conversations and not You'd be taking them L's on the debates, though. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like a uh, Shenron. Oh my God, well, that makes no sense. I know. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know. That's it. Damn, man. All right, the girls had a good time tonight. This is not good. God damn. Oh. The goal was to get them triggered and I mean, I, I wanted to I, leave and shit. I tried. I mean. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get a Frank Castle. We didn't even get the right gender on this one uh, with the Frank Castle. No, you got kidding. a Frank Castle. Nah, man, that's not a Frank. I mean, guys, guys, when I have a husband, can he sit here? <laughs> if oh you can gosh. get one, I mean, if, if when you when you get your husband eventually, yeah. I can bring him on the show. Yeah. And he sits here. We're gonna ask him how'd you do it. <laughs> did you ask it? Did you ask her about her dog a bunch of times? <laughs> what shelter did you get it at? Oh, do you have more? Did you <laughs> guarantee you didn't do that dumb shit? <laughs> All right, guys, party Saturday, December 18th. We got a couple tickets left, and then it's all sold out. Once that's done, there's no more. So get it. Yeah, get yeah, get the tickets, guys, while you can. Uh, what do we got here? Ten bucks. Uh, Zachy Poo would be great to see the role play reversed and see how you would handle the situations oh. they came up with to approach. P.S. Love all the content. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I gave a little bit of feedback as far as like, you know, where, where like Mr. Ruba, for example, messed up. Like, oh, she didn't ask the name. She didn't build any reports. She's like, what do y'all want? Why do y'all want a drink? Like, you know? <laughs> like that works like yeah you'll get a, a positive response but the chicks ain't gonna take you serious like oh this guy's just gonna buy us drinks all right cool let's yeah. like finesse that um and then we got dj mca 20 bucks bet a bet a dub none of these ladies can pull christina <laughs> i can't nice. yeah miss uh can. miss venezuela but miss venezuela probably gonna kidnap you and send a ransom letter that's gonna be her game literally this works in my country so i'm gonna do this no just kidding uh all right cool anything else no we're good all right guys thank you so much uh all the ladies instagrams are below uh, yo, also, guys, patreon.com slash fresh fit, man. Get on there, man. Get get on there. And then also, join us for the uh, 500K party this yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Get in the VIP. And uh, yeah, man, other than that, man, we will catch you guys tomorrow, Womanizer Wednesday. Yep. Uh, we'll have you guys. Pick we're going to have at the party uh, Meg, uh, Megan McQueen, Andrew Tate, ah, some of the special guests. I won't say who they are, but it's going to be lit. Gonna and, be the lit. Girls. and the girls. And well, guys, please watch me and Fresh Your Stories. Please don't DM us because we're very busy. Yeah. So just. just Watch our stories. We'll be very adamant, you know, posting daily. So, you know. Cool. All right, man. We'll catch you guys tomorrow for Womanizer Wednesday. We'll find a topic. And uh, other than that, man, peace, guys. Peace.